What's going on, everybody? <laughs> the day has finally come. It is here. It has, it has graced my doorstep, finally. <laughs> here it is. Bloop. Oh, I just shook the camera and everything. <laughs> I don't care. Um, it is finally here. I got uh, quite a large package from Marauder's Task Force today. Hooray! It's here! Yay! We can all rejoice and sing and dance in the streets. Um, I didn't actually think I was going to get this until January. That's That was the... Cool Toys, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. We're in for a, You're in for a treat here today. Finally got my Kickstarter stuff from Marauder's Task Force. Atcha Figure Addict, what's up, man? Uh, I was going to um, upload a... I had another review set up for today that I was going to upload, but this came in the mail, so this is, uh, I guess, priority over that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, but here we go. We got it in the mail today, so let's not waste any more time. With haste, we will open said box and enjoy it <laughs> full to the full extent of Marauder's Task Force. I don't know why I'm speaking in old English voice, but okay. So what do we have here? We have quite a list. Oh, we have a, a thank you for backing the Marauder's Task Force Gun Runners, Marauder's Task Force K9 Exosuits Contract Ops Kickstarter Project. Enclosed are your Marauders Task Force rewards you selected during our Kickstarter event. We hope you enjoy them. Thanks again for your patience and support. Uh, your best Marauders Gunrunners team. How nice of them. And there it is. <laughs> okay, all right. So I got my little checklist here, and it is... Uh, oh, yeah. They got like a whole like thing, an assembly for the exosuits. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited for all of this stuff. Man, when they said when they showed all this like exosuit stuff, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Alright, so we got my little checklist here. I I wonder if like all my stuff came, because sometimes what Kickstarters do is they'll send like the majority of your order, like kind of like what Mythic Legions did. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this bag. That's just one bag. Holy Toledo. All right, so there's two huge bags here. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. I can't even get it on camera. Here we go, I gotta back up a little bit. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it's like Christmas after Christmas, you know? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put some stuff together and see how it, how it looks. I, I I have a I have a character set up that I want to use but I I will, yeah. So I'll just say yes, action figure addict, yes. Yes. Uh, so we got a green one. All right, I'm going to start getting this stuff out cuz I don't want to waste any time here. Oh, there's a dog. We got a wolf wolf. There's a doggy. There's another doggy. Oh, cool. They come with all their stuff in, in one little bag. Here we go. All right, so here's the first Wolf Wolf. <laughs> He's like a husky, kind of. Very husky. He's got blue eyes, too. Different heads. It's cool that they put, like, all their stuff in, in one specific bag and split it all up. All right, let me get that bag out of the way. So this is what we were kind of, like, stuck with before. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um... Uh, but that's, you know, this is Oreo. This is Leaper. He's on my team. So I got to keep him around. <laughs> you know? All right. So then we got another Woof Woof. You know, it's going to be the same mold, just different paint. So we got a, a, a Husky. And then we got like a, I don't know what this would be. This would be like a, a like a, a gray German Shepherd or something. And then we've got another one, all like a black. It's like kind of like a black and a brown. Oh, it looks all black. Might be a little bit of brown there. I might. The lighting might be playing with my eyes a little bit. So, I actually have some new lighting on the way. I can't wait. 
I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, so here's your traditional German Shepherd right here. I didn't go all in with this. I went the step below the all in. I just couldn't afford it at the time. All right, so all of this stuff is the exosuit stuff. I'll give you a little preview of that. I'm going to take all this stuff out. Don't worry. All right, so all the exosuit stuff is kind of put together. And they come with, like, little ball joints and stuff. So that's cool. Pretty pretty sweet right there. I'm liking that, how that's set up. And then we've got, like, the attachments for the suits. And I have a... There's a green one. Let me get the dogs out of the way. We'll get to the dogs in a second. We'll get to the wolf wolves in a second. So we've got a green one. We have a white one. It's pretty much set up the same. White and black one. Black and green black and whoa my stream just like glitched uh black and blue and then we have like a charcoal gray it's like all charcoal gray so that's pretty cool and then we have a yellow one yellow and black in case you want to look like bumblebee or you know the pittsburgh steelers <laughs> All right, and then finally we have a kind of like an all-black one. There's a little bit of, like, uh, lime green detail in there. But there's the all-black one. So you got some nice options right there with the exosuits. All right, so I showed you the dogs. I showed you the exosuits. Don't worry. I'm going to get all this stuff out of package. Um, at least I'm going to show, like, one per because I don't want to, like, mix all this stuff up because a lot of small pieces... Um, so I'll take out, like, one that I'm going to work with. I'll take out, like, let's say I'll leave. Like, don't worry. This I'm going to have, like, more of these videos. I'm going to have an entire series for this. Because it's a lot of stuff. And, like, I covered the Mythic Legion stuff, I'm going to cover this. So, don't worry. All right. So, that's what we'll do with that. <laughs> like a kid in a candy shop right now. All right. So, we'll use the... the We'll use the, the black and the green one. So I'm sure that's probably what people want to see the most. And then for the German Shepherd, we'll go with the traditional German Shepherd. So those are the two that we'll show in a little bit. For now, let's bust out some of these contract ops, guys. Ooh, yeah. Well, this could actually go for like a Logan. If you want to do like a custom Wolverine, like a Logan or something like that. Like Days of Future Past or something. You can go with that. Or like Motorcycle Logan. Three and three quarter inch style, you can go with that. Um, all right, so we got some cool stuff in here. Ooh, oh yeah, here come the goody goody goodies. I mean, we already got some goody goodies, but now we got more goody goodies. Uh, if you want to upgrade Lifeline, here you go. We got an upgraded Lifeline now. You know, if you didn't want to spend the money that the you know the 30th anniversary one garnishes, then you can go with this. So there you go, Lifeline stuff, and here's like his little parts and stuff oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> get kool-aid with it all right so if you wanted to make like a, a shock blast you can go with this and by shock blast i mean shock wave if you guys know what i'm talking about you can go with this like blue it's like a, like a nice little like blue and blue camo this is actually something i might use for breach um, a, a character on the Sweet 16. So, and then here's his body. So, I might use some pieces for that to upgrade Breach, because he's pretty much just, like, all blue right now. I wanted to give him a little bit of camo. And then here's the female version of that. Like I said, don't worry, I'm going to try and get all this stuff out. This is probably going to be a very long stream, so sit back, hang out, relax and uh, enjoy the show, all right? Like I said, it's going to be a long stream. And then we have a, ooh, this nice, like, olive. It's almost like a, eh, it's kind of like a just a regular traditional army green. I don't want to say it's really an olive drab. Um, but I might use some pieces for this for somebody. Shock, shock Blast Daughter, sure. You can go that route. And then look, we got, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? He works on the Defiant. He's got a hard hat on. Come on, help me out, guys. Ugh, I can't think of it off the top of my head. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? He works on the... He comes with the Defiant. 
Comes with like a wrench, hard hat. Oh. <laughs> I can't think of a stupid name. Uh Come on. Somebody's got to know. I can't remember it offhand, and I can't look it up right now. I'm having my phone with me. But I'll show you in a minute as soon as someone answers me. Oh, what the heck is his name? Why can't I think of it? <laughs> I can't think of his silly name. Oh, yeah, you could totally make him with this. What the hell is his name? No, not Toll Booth. He works, he comes, he came with a Defiant. Um, no, it's not Toll Booth. Toll Booth is a totally different color. He's not the color of this. Um, oh, what's the heck's his name? It's not Toll Booth, though. It looks like Toll Booth, but it's not. Top, top, no, that's top side. I'm not thinking of top side. That's, uh, he's, he's Navy. He, he came, he came with the Defiant. Came with like a hard hat and came with a wrench. What the heck's his name? Damn it. But you could definitely make him with this instead of buying that FSS core. Is it hard hat? No. Can't be, right? No. He was in the he was in the FSS club like last the last wave. He was in the last wave, Carter. Hard top. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it definitely was not toll booth. <laughs> that I know for sure. It was it was hard top. Okay. Yeah, you could make him with this right here. That's his color scheme right there. Cause why would toll booth make sense on a on a spaceship? That doesn't make sense. Why would there be a toll booth on a spaceship? <laughs> you know? All right, so we got some more stuff. Oh, shit, I'm dropping stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. Now, I don't have everything, like I said. Uh, I'm probably going to get more. This stuff is all going to be on sale. Uh, I want to say mid-January, January 19th, around that area. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so we got that. And then we got our, you know, your men in black, your FBI. Um, he also comes with a different torso. This might be one of the ones I opened up quick. Quickly. Here's another one. Contract app. We're going to open up that. And this is the same one that I just showed. Oh, no, it's a different one. That's a different one. And then here's the white t-shirt one. And then we've got some new hats and stuff, like a sheath, stuff like that. There we go. All right, so we got some more stuff in here. We got some new, like, tack vests and stuff like that for the males. Okay. Some old tack vest in here too. I feel like some of this stuff is just different colored um, stuff. So we'll work through that. Let's see what's new. I'll know what's new. Um, this is some more female stuff, like some hoods, stuff like that. Just different colored. And then here's a female lifeline. If you want to make like a female lifeline, you know. Yeah, exactly. You could definitely make a cheaper version of Tomat and Zamot. Absolutely, buddy. There you go. There's some more color for the female stuff. Uh, they really did a good job of separating everything with the female stuff, you know? Really good job. Here's a, another version of that, uh, the male. So pretty much anything that you see that, that's male it has a female counterpart. counterpart. I can't talk. <laughs> um, here's um, a gray version also. So we got some gray versions, black and gray for the females too. Okay, looks good. I'm liking it. You know what I'd like to see down the road? Uh, two things. Actually, there's probably more. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Matthew Hill, what's up, man? Carter, if I didn't say hi, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. So when did I get this stuff? Today, in the mail. Like an hour ago. Yeah, uh, this this stuff I got, I ordered from the Kickstarter about almost, about a year and a half ago. 
So all the stuff that you're seeing, I joined the Kickstarter. So all of the stuff that, uh, the reason why their website is down, they actually sent out an email uh, about a week ago saying that, uh, you know, the website's going to be down because they're, you know, they're taking time to spend time with their family for Christmas and New Year's. So, you know, give them a, give them a little bit of a break. You know, they, they do work hard all year round to kind of keep this stuff in stock for us. And, and uh, so, yeah. So try to try to be a little patient with them. Um, they said their the website will be back up in January after you know New Year's stuff like that. So uh, and all this stuff will be in stock around mid January, mid to to end of January. So it's really just just around the corner, uh, and all this stuff will be available to everybody else. I'm actually surprised that we got I got this stuff today. Um, so, but yeah, everything you see here is from the Kickstarter. I got it a little bit earlier because I joined the Kickstarter. So. But not to worry, it's it's like I said, it's right around the corner. You guys will all have a, a chance to get this stuff. Um, and they're really good at restocking things. That, that when they're um I want to say they usually restock stuff. Yeah, yeah. Anytime, Carter. Anytime, buddy. If you guys need any more info, let me know. If you need any, any specific questions, you know. Like I said, this is gonna be a longer live stream. I actually better go get my charger for this because I don't want my my battery to die. All right, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to keep y'all waiting there. Keep y'all waiting. Okay, charged. All right, so let's start getting this stuff opened up, right? For some reason, my phone randomly turned off. Maybe it had like an update or something. All right. I'll put that stuff away. We also got these, uh, like, uh, Terra Ops, Desert Ops, whatever, not Desert Ops, Terra Ops stuff for the female. All right. All right. You guys excited for New Year's? You guys got any plans for New Year's Eve or anything like that? All right. Um, and the reason why, if you're wondering why where the weapons are, I already got the weapons, like, I want to say over the summer. So I already had a video on that. If you guys want to check that out, you can. All right, I want to check out these new... They're supposed to be new um, male vests. And I'm wondering where those are, actually. But I'm not seeing them. Maybe they're in here. Oh, they're in here. Okay. Cool beans. I don't know why my phone just shut off. It's so weird. It must have been an update. It must have been love, but it's over. Okay, I'll stop that shit. <laughs> You're like, oh, God, my ears. Please stop it. All right, what do you guys want me to open up first? Contract ops. Dogs. Pick one. You're more of a 1-6 scale guy. That's an 80s kid with a real American hero. Yeah, Marauder stuff is so good. Contract Ops? All right, we'll do that first. I'll get the doggy out of the way. Exocete out of the way. And we'll play around with some of this stuff here. Let's see how things look. All right, I just want to get everything situated really quick. All right, so Contract Ops. All right, let's get... Uh, one of these. All right, we'll work. We'll start with this guy. We'll start with that guy right there. Actually, you know what? We'll start with the suit. Start with the suit. There we go. Okay. All right, let me check tra chat really quick. I'm trying to do two things at once, and that's just god awful. If you have if you if you have ADD like I do, it's just do. It's, uh, it's hard to do two things at once. 
Oh, okay, here we go. We got our suited gentleman here. All right, so let me check chat really quick. I'll put his little head on so you can see what he looks like. Eh. 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 Come on. There we go. Just needs a little bit of elbow grease. Yeah. Oh, you have ADD too? All right, yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. Come on. Yeah. I, I don't try to use it as a as a uh, crutch when I say that stuff. It's just like your, your mind kind of goes a mile a minute, you know? It's hard to focus sometimes on things. So if I say it, it's not to use it as a crutch or anything like that. It's it's to uh, help you guys understand the way my mind works. <laughs> so if I go off on tangents and stuff like that. All right, so I just wanted to check chat. I didn't want to be rude. I wanted to see if you guys had any questions or anything in here so I could uh, you know, pay attention as best as possible here. All right. Uh, you're going to stay up and watch the ball drop? Cool. Yeah, I'm staying home. I'm chilling. Chilling like Matt Dillon on penicillin, bro. Yeah, exactly, Matthew. Exactly. <laughs> I just think it's funny when uh, I meet someone, which I have in the past, and they're like, oh, my ADD's kicking in. I'm like, do you actually have ADD? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, explain it. And they don't, they don't know how to explain it. And I'm like, it's okay. Just don't say you don't have ADD, please, when you don't. <laughs> just don't say you have it because <laughs> i was tested at a very young age i was tested at about five and i'm 35 okay so i was born in 83 and uh long story short this is back when add and adhd were at the nucleus of their testing at the the very somber age of testing uh, the early ages of testing is what i'm trying to say here and uh they didn't really know how to test for it and they would just give you say, okay, put them on Ritalin, put them on Ritalin. And that's not really the best thing to do when you have ADD. I don't know. It's, it's definitely, I don't know. I, as far as Ritalin and Adderall go, I think they're awful. I, I think they're, they're awful for you and they're awful for helping you with ADD. I used to get severe migraines. It causes liver failure. Um, there's a lot of issues with, Adderall that I just don't like. So I don't I don't take medication for ADD. I just deal with it my own way. So but you know, you gotta work a little harder in life, but that's life, you know. Gotta work a little harder at everything, you know. Reminds me of the Matrix. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Reminds me of like, yeah, like a, one of the agents, you know. <laughs> or like men in black or something. All right, so we have this body, right? And you got this head that it comes with. And then you got this new tack vest, which is actually just an up. I, I know there's some new, there's probably a little bit of new sculpting in there. But if you compare it with the female ones, these are just like the, the larger, um, I want to say the plate carrier versions of the female ones. Uh, but people were really clamoring for it. Now, this is a new sculpt. Um, because obviously you can see they have new attachment system with a larger hoop. Because a lot of people were complaining about the two hoop system and how it doesn't really work too well. So they went to a single peg, which is a lot easier to work with. And they went with also a single loop. So that's a lot better, I think, overall, as far as that system working. Um, now, it is a little bit harder to pick up the you know, black uh, with my, my crap lighting right now. But I'm getting new lighting soon. So worry not, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's your... Um, your rolled up sleeved look. Obviously, you want to switch switch out the parts and stuff like that. Let's get uh, this other torso that he comes with. This is kind of like the casual Friday <laughs> agent right here. But there's a reason for it. Um, it's to actually put this tack vest on him because you can't put it on over the suit. So you want to have it over this, this uh, body right here, okay? And then you just want to Kind of pop it in, and oh my god, that works so much easier. Oh, it's so much, so much better, tighter fit. Look at that, how much easier that was than getting two little pegs into two little holes. And we're talking three and three quarter inch figures, so it works so much better. 
And these vests are, you know, really good looking, I think, for the most part. So we can pop these legs off. And if you wanted to have like a, I don't know, maybe like a Sicario style thing going on or like Ghost Recon Wildlands type thing going on here with these vests and these heads and um, maybe an FBI agent, something like that. Now you guys have yourself a nice little casual guy going on here. I think it looks pretty damn good if I say so myself. Or you can make chuckles. This is definitely a beautiful head for chuckles, I think. I think it's perfect for chuckles. So you can go with that if you wanted to. You could even go with this body for chuckles. I know he doesn't have like the Hawaiian shirt going on, but you could just make some detail in there on the white shirt if you wanted to. And you can go that route. Or if you don't, you just want a different version of Chuckles, your own version of Chuckles, you can go with that. I think that works pretty well. And you could just go with a harness sling for him and put a little gun there. Since he has a, he usually has like a, uh, what do you call that? A shoulder harness for his gun. So you can go that route. All right, so there's the, there's that guy. We'll get to the sleeve portion and all of that stuff in a in a later video. I just kind of want to show you guys the basis of, of what... Uh, no, the gl glasses do not come off. They're molded in to the head. So, all right. So, next body. We'll put him over here. Let's fix his arm so it doesn't look all wonky. All right. We got this guy right here. Yeah, glasses. I mean, you don't really want removable glasses with a three and three quarter inch figure. That shit's just going to get lost. So I don't mind that the they're molded on. I really don't. But I'm gonna test out how the helmets fit and everything with the glasses on. So don't worry. Worry not, my friends. And if you guys wanna request to see anything done, just let me know and I'll do that as best as I can. All right, let me move my camera up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so next guy up, we'll do with the jeans and the t-shirt. This is like me. <laughs> jeans and t-shirt, dude. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> jeans and t-shirt <laughs> guy. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> All right, so we got some cool stuff here. Really cool stuff. You ready for this? Oh, yeah, and that fits right on his head. Yeah, it looks a little bit big on his head, but, you know. All right, so we got a new... Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. I forgot we were even getting this. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Oh, you're going to love it. Oh, you're going to... Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Hold on. I'm going to get him all... All right, so we got the new vest, right? I already showed you that, right? Okay. I forgot we were even getting these. This is why... This is, you know, this is the one thing that I actually enjoy waiting for kickstarter stuff to come in because i actually forget what the hell i'm getting and then when i get it i'm like oh yeah oh yeah they, they were coming out with that i forgot <laughs> so we got leg harnesses look at that let's see how well it looks though so we got a little ammo pouch on this side with a belt with uh peg holes to port stuff in and then we got oops we have a gun holster on that side so let's put this on see how it looks let me get him over here oh i'm really loving this i'm gonna get a lot of these contract ops guys i'm gonna get a lot of them there is so much to work with all right so you gotta fish these on the legs first all right that's what you want to do you want to put it like that oh wait you want to take the leg off first camo the leg up. Whoa, bumping the camera and everything. This is what happens when I'm leaning over the camera and trying to do things and show you everything at once. All right, so there we go. Ooh, that's like a little rough fit right there. Some, some goo on his goo on his leg. <laughs> All right, so that's what we want to do. And then we'll fish the leg through like this, right? And we'll reattach the leg. There we go. And we'll fish this leg in this 
Oh shit! I put the put the damn thing in backwards. <laughs> oh, oh boy, it's always something, right? <laughs> hey, attention! Damn it, <laughs> Anthony. All right, I'll get that through there. <laughs> You're like, oh, here he goes. He's starting already. <laughs> All right, there we go with that, and then we'll get this in there. <laughs> All right, there we go. And that's looking pretty darn good. It's got a nice tight fit to it. Looks pretty good. Sorry, I was a little far away there. I was trying to lean over the camera without bumping it again. And there you go. How does that look? That looks pretty darn good, right? Right? All right, so then next, we have something even cooler. You ready? Are you ready, guys? Oops. Now this is something. Got everything sticking to me right now. This is something, right? Here we go. Come on, stand, damn it. This is something I'm going to use for definitely my character because this is what uh, I run. I don't run cry precision, cry precision pants. I run regular cargo, old school, like uh, BDUs, like Woodland BDUs, stuff like that. But we got. I run knee pads separate knee pads so let's get these knee pads on right and see how those look i should probably yeah there we go or, i don't know if i'm doing this the wrong way here <laughs> it's my first time doing this <laughs> so bear with me here all right i'm gonna get my tweezers out and we're just playing some dress up here. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Get on there, little doggy. Now, I could take the leg off again. I just, I'm trying to not, I don't know. I don't feel like taking the leg off. So I guess I'm doing it kind of the hard way, but. Yeah, there's one. Nice tight fit. Uh, let's see if it, uh, no, it does not even mess with the articulation. Look at that. Even Oreo's excited. You hear him? <laughs> He's like, oh my God, the knee pad sits so well. So that is, um, that is very nice. Oh my God, he's so excited. You guys hear him? I know, or I'm excited too. I know. <laughs> All right, next up. Oh my god. I, I, no, tell me about it, bud. I know. There we go. All right. He's excited. I'm excited. I'm sure you're all excited. I know, buddy. All right. There we go. That looks damn good. That looks freaking awesome. It does not affect the art. Hey, whoa, that's a little loud. All right, if you're going to be loud... Go downstairs. Come on. Okay. All right. You're not going to be loud? All right. Good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just, uh, he just wants to... He just... Okay. All right. They, they know. They, Oreo, they know. They know. Stop it. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Stop. Hey. Stop. Okay. All right, that's He's starting to be a little ignorant, you know? <laughs> just a little ig. All right. So next up, we have his little... There we go. It's not really that good of a fit. I'm going to be honest with you. The the headphones. The headset, I should say. There we go. But there you go. Come on, get off. It's got these plastic bags sticking to my arm. It's really annoying. <laughs> All right, next up. I know, right? Do the guys in the suits come in different skin tones? Uh, let me see. Uh, it's mostly white dudes for right now. I'm assuming they'll they'll do different races down the line. I know. Tell me about it. I I, I wish they would. I wish they would have done them right away. Oh, we got some other stuff in here. Oh, well, we got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. Um, as far as I'm seeing, there's brunette, blonde, uh different shade of blonde too like sandy blonde and then like your traditional like 
gook blonde blonde like yellow blonde uh and then there's a like a lighter brown dude you got dark hair guy right here but no african-american no asian still i think the only asian figure heads that we're getting are with that world war ii one which i did not go in on I'm going to wait for that to hit the store. Uh, I didn't go in on the World War II stuff. I was going to, and then I was, at the last minute, I just kind of was like, nah, I spent enough money. So I'll we have to wait on those. But hopefully we get some African-American uh, suited heads, bodies, etc. Because we definitely need them. All right, so we'll put on these here elbow pads next. We definitely need those. And we need some uh, Latino um, skin tones, too. They did give us uh, some, like, darker skin tones uh, in the previous uh, ones. So they're, those are in the store. My God, all these stupid bags are sticking to my arm. <laughs> Super obnoxious. <laughs> all right, so next up, we got his elbow pads in. And let's see if they impede the articulation. You're good. And they even stretch out a little bit. So you're good to go with that. So knee pads fit well. Don't uh, hinder articulation. Elbow pads, nicely done. The new tack vest fits beautifully. So perfect, man. I am so pleased. Even the, the, the leg harness, it, it floats a little bit, but it's good. I know the stupid little baggies. I think I'm a damn drug dealer after you see all these little baggies, you know? <laughs> hey, man, you go to the dime bags everywhere. <laughs> but, all right, next up, we have this um, machete. I'm not sure. I'm sure this is like some sort of machete, but it comes with a sheath. So, yay, sheath. Let's pop that sucker in there. It's a tight fit. Holy Toledo. Arr, there we go. And he does come with a peg. Obviously, you can peg that onto his side if you want to. Action figures are drugs. Yes. <laughs> and then we've got, look, little, we got little handcuffs. Little handcuffs. Okay. And then <laughs> we got ourselves some bandanoramas or do-rags or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> it, it does fit a little little funny on his head but you know it's nice to have this variety so if you want like a desert dude or like a assassin type guy you could go with that let's try to fit these on his head and make him look ridiculous you know <laughs> uh it oh to to note uh they do have little peg holes right here for attachments so that's nice so and let's do that right now oops what did I just drop? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it was a, it was a contract up guy. Alright, let's I want to make sure that these are on properly. So I'll go ahead and do that right here, right now. Alright, I'll we'll take this hat off real quick. And then we'll put that on like that. Now you could definitely do some Ghost Recon Wildlands characters. You can do Holt. If you wanted to, there's that's close to Holt. Not 100% Holt because he wears like a plaid shirt. And then we got a little, here, I'll use my tweezers so my stupid hands aren't in the way. And we have a little canteen, which a lot of people have been asking for if this thing will focus. Are you going to focus today, bud? There we go. Canteen. And then you've got your front mount pouches for your assault rifle um, mags. There we go. Looks good. Nice sculpt. I like it. And this is what it looks like with it on. Let me get that on really quick for you. I'm going to have to work with this a lot, a lot more. These are definitely going to need glue. Obviously, everything with Marauders pretty much needs glue. But there you go. Looks good. I like the clearance with the other two holes, too. You've got some decent uh, clearance. So that looks good. Let's get him all 
geared up. I got to work with these ankles a little bit, but not a big deal at all. I'll right, get his, his back on his head. They're a little loose. Oh my God, he is like flipping out. It's dog hour right now, so I might have to. I might have to shut the door on him. All right. There we go. It's dog hour in my neighborhood. Every, I swear to God, everybody on this street has a dog. <sighs> you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> All right, so next up we'll show, so we got your FBI guy, you got your kind of like Ghost Recon Wildlands dude right here. And I'll put his stuff together so it doesn't get lost. Or... All right, so next up we've got some accessories that I wanted to show, which is, this is, man, this is why this wave might be my favorite wave. Like the Valkyries was a great wave. Don't get me wrong, but we've got a new sword with a sheath, right? We've got a officer's hat, so we could put that on him with the suited body if you wanted to. We've got, you know, your your typical like knitted beanie right here. This is not focusing. Knitted beanie right there, right? Damn bags. I swear to God. <laughs> I can't win. Here's another sword with a sheath. Same thing. Um, actually, this one's a little bit longer. So you got a shorter version and a longer version. Okay, there's more. We got this little bandana that you could use for like rock and roll, right? All right. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking. Use this for shipwreck if you wanted to the beanie and then we've got another one of those like kind of like a like do rag type um headband covering thing bandanas i should call them you could use that for rock and roll also they gave me two of them wasn't expecting that uh next up we have like a I want to say this is like a tracker or GPS of some sort. It does have a green screen. Looks pretty cool, though. And then next, ooh, new C-clip. Huh. Cool looking new C-clip. I am a big fan of C-clips. I love them for Marauders figures. I think they're genius attach them to their vests or backpacks, stuff like that, so they can carry things. But this looks like it's going to hold a rifle. Now, let me get a rifle real quick. And this is what I've been using before. And this is why these are ingenious. This is what I was using before, and it doesn't really work that well. So now with these new C-clips, you can just fit this right around the barrel, right? And it'll hold it perfectly it'll look more natural like it's supposed to be held in that area come on if i can get it on here holy toledo holy gefilte fish there we go this is a lot better so now you can attach that to your back and that looks a lot better that's a much better c-clip for your rifles and such you know so that's good good stuff there Good, good, good. Good, good. That's the good, good. And then we got another canteen right here, just in black. Okay. And I already showed you the handcuffs. And they gave me another C-clip. And another little machete with a sheath. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we've got, okay, you ready? Here we go. This is the really cool stuff too. Ready? Alternate hands, baby. We got some karate chopping hands or some like saluting hands. And then we also have some fist hands, which I've been clamoring for. Oh, I've been waiting for these damn fist hands, you know? So that's awesome. Awesome stuff. 
Rambo style bandana. That's right. I want to go back and chat. I haven't been paying attention to chat. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Juggernaut Jones, what's up, man? That's an awesome name. Juggernaut Jones. I got my... Instead of your basketball Jones, you got your J Juggernaut Jones. I got the Juggernaut Jones. Right? No? Okay. I'll shut up. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they could definitely be lawyers for Cobra. I agree. Reminds you of the 12-inch 21st century toy days? Yeah, I know. I know, man. All right, so next up we've got this kind of like a t-shirted. His foot's doing something weird. Oh, and they all come with boots, by the way. These these come with boots. The FBI guys come with like dress shoes, but these guys come with like your 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 like boot style boots, boot style boots, Anthony. Oh, good lord. Okay, but there you go. You got your boots right there. It's a nice sculpt, too. He's got some tread. Let me get this head. There we go. So, there we go with this one. And you could swap anything, you know. You know the deal with Marauders. I'm not going to go through it. We all know the deal at this point. Three years in. Can you guys believe it's been three years since Marauders first started? That's insane, right? All right, so we got some other new stuff in here. Oh, yeah, we got some cool stuff. Got some stuff I already showed, so I'm not going to re-show it. Like the knee pads, elbow pads, you can see it all on him right there. Jason Tran, what's up, man? Yes, they're finally here, I know. So excited, man. All right, let me get these. Actually, before I get, I, I'm jumping ahead. I don't want to jump ahead too much. Let me get these swords out so I can show you those. Because I don't want to skip anything, right? Get the swords out. Okay. Huh. Like I said, this can be a long live stream, so prepare yourself. <laughs> I should probably go get a water. I'm going to get dehydrated talking up here the whole time. <laughs> uh, but uh, here you go. You have your 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 sh your short sword, your short, uh, uh, and I'm not sure what the technical term would be, like katana, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm sure people know. That people are more educated with uh, weaponry than I am. You know, I, I I have like basic, basic bitch knowledge of like guns and rifles and stuff like that because I'm becoming more and more enamored with those. I might actually buy my first rifle next year. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, there's your your short sword, and then we have a longer like katana over here. What was that? How does this, how do you say it? Wakashi? Um, so you could also use those C clips I showed you, the new ones, for the swords. I'm I'm pretty sure that that's what these are meant for. So you want to put those in like this. And then peg them to the back or the leg or you know, whatever you want to do. Let me get my hand in here so you can focus here. So that's how you want us to have that set up right there. And you can put it up higher, too, if you want to. I've just kind of put it on just to quickly show you. But there's the longer one. Oh, wait. How, how do you say that? Oh, no, I want to say it. Uh, Wakashashi? Wakashashi? Okay, cool. Strident would. Yeah, he, he probably would. I'm a little ignorant when it comes to bladed weapons i'm not gonna lie i'm in but all right so next up oh you guys are gonna like this Ooh, you're gonna like this you're gonna like this and i like it a lot oh damn this is dope oh dip let me just see how this works how does that work is it going in i feel like i'm doing that wrong I feel like I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> All right. I think that's, wait. Let me, try, I'm trying to figure this out. Hold on one second. <laughs> this isn't going the, the right way. 
<laughs> All right, there we go. That that's that, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense than what I was just doing. I'm not going to show you what I was just doing because I don't want to embarrass myself here. <laughs> but here we have a. Um, hold on. <laughs> here we have a, a sheath of some sort. I wonder what that could be for. Hmm? Hmm? Even has a little W on it, or it might be an M. Dumb <laughs> idiot, <laughs> turn it around, Anthony. M for Marauders, <laughs> Dude, dumbass. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have that, and then we have our tactical axe. Pretty dope, pretty damn dope. So, and we even have a sheath for it. Isn't that awesome? I think it is. Oh, that goes this way. You want to kind of slide it through like that. And then kaploop. Kaploop. So there you go. You want to make sure the M is obviously not a W. <laughs> Tomahawk. There we go. God, I just like, I forget things all the time. So there we go with that. And then it comes with a little peg on the back. So you can peg it right to his back. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. But here's the sculpt. Let me get closer here. There's the sculpt. Looks really good. Yeah. Pretty awesome, man. Pretty damn awesome. All right. So next up, we got another tack vest. We got another... I want to say... I want to compare this really quick. I got to compare this helmet to the other ones because I think they're different. Not the ACH helmets talking about the where are they oh god my phone is being rude crude and rude dude crude lewd and rude dude do i not have anybody else set up with that helmet what is going on here what in crikey crikey i don't have anybody with that damn helmet all right I wanted to test that out, but we'll just test it out with this guy right here. Okay. Whoop. All right. Hold on one second. Come on. His heads are very cold. The bodies are cold. The heads are cold. So you want to take it easy on those. All right. So the helmet. Here's what the helmets, the new, these new helmets look like on the glad the new heads so pretty cool right and then we've got uh these black tack vests for oh, gotta take that off there we go i'm gonna put it on really quick i am loving this new clip or pin system or whole system whatever you want to call the damn thing <laughs> um the single loop single peg system for these uh new tack vests I'm, I'm loving it i'm loving these new tack vests too they look so damn good so damn good so there we go with that i gotta i gotta loosen up their ankles a little bit they're a little bit stiff and a little bit uh on the All right, so there we go. All right, so there is that. Now, next up, we have this, too. Let me get this situated. Oh, yeah, you ready? You ready? Oh, dip! <laughs> Look at that beautiful friggin' head attachment. Oh, it's so dope. A little bit of paint could do this so much justice, you know? Just a little bit of paint. Let me get them out of focus, because this is just wanting to focus on them in the back. I should probably just move them, but I don't really want to. But there you go. Full optics right there. So awesome. Pre pretty sure these are peripheral... Per I can't say that word. Peripheral optics. Guys, what's up, man? They finally came in. I finally got my Kickstarter stuff. Don't worry, I'm going to be on here for a while, bro. So grab a beer, 
Enjoy your Friday. Oh, dip. I didn't. Wait, what? What in the freak is this for? I don't remember this. Hold on a minute. Oops. Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> what in the freak? <laughs> There we go. You guys are going to like this too. <laughs> New helmet attachment. I forgot this was even a thing. But it it uh, like kind of covers the... There we go. It kind of pegs into the side of the helmet right there. It's pretty awesome. It's like a face guard. Obviously, it'll fit on a... Um, a different helmet or a different headed haired head. Excuse me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can't talk properly. <laughs> Let's see if they can get this on too. Oh yeah. There you go. Gear all geared up here. Look at that. That is something right there. He is night ops up. All right. The rest of this stuff is pretty much just a black version of um, what I've already showed you, so I'm gonna de I'm gonna put that back in the bag. I just don't want to lose all this stuff because I haven't even figured out what I'm gonna do with all this stuff yet. <laughs> as far as characters go, you know, I'm definitely uh, and I already told Gaz this. Um, if you guys tune into my Twitch live streams for Ghost Recon Wildlands, um, if you guys ever want to play a video game that uh, you know, pretty much playing GI Joe, I would suggest you. Uh, play some ghost recon wildlands it's a lot of fun it's only 20 bucks right now on the ps network if you have playstation um it's on sale for 20 bucks and uh the fallen ghost dlc is really good it's i think it's only like 15 bucks so all right here's the next contract ops guy gonna i'm not i know i'm not really like i'm trying to there's not a whole lot of room for their ankles to work with because of the sculpt of the pant leg. So you got to kind of find that sweet spot. That's the only kind of annoying, frustrating thing that's going on here with them standing. There we go. It'll kind of rock back and forth stand. No? Come on. There we go. There you go with that. And then we have some green stuff here. We actually have a new hat, which I'm going to show you. Here. Okay. All right. So this is the stuff I might be using. I'm always, I'm always loving the, the black and the green. It just, black and green just go so well together. They really do. All right. So we got a, well, actually, this is just an older hat. I think they just threw this in. All right. So we'll put his head on real quick. I'll show you the little variations in the heads here. There we go. Oh, oh, what the heck? Oh, his, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this does happen from time to time. If it does happen to you, don't flip out. His his crotch came depegged. It's not a big deal. It's probably very rare that this happens. All you got to do is just put it back, and I'll put a little glue in there, and then I'll glue it back together. It's not a big deal. It's happened to me uh Maybe one other time with these Marauder figures, not a big deal. So if it does happen to you, don't think that your figure's broken. Just just glue it. You know? You know what I mean? Jelly bean? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm glue this back together. I'll let it sit for a little bit. No big deal at all, mate. As long as the, uh, the pegs aren't broken, then you're good. And even if the pegs are broken, you can still glue it. The torso piece back together. It just looks like they forgot to glue it. That's all. I'm not gonna flip out about it. Oh god, I'm dropping shit. All right, so I'm just gonna put this back together really quick. Come on. There we go. 
Seat that in there nice and tight. Tight like a toiger. There we go. He is a... He, this guy is very, very stiff. So, there we go. I'll go with that. Get some pressure on there for a second. And just let it marinate. <laughs> More empty bags to stick onto you. I know. Oh, you wouldn't believe how many bags there's going to be once I'm done with this. <laughs> it's going to be ridic. Ridic! What is this thing doing? Get out of here. All right. Ooh, Nicole just just messaged me. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'll stop it. I'll stop it. Just stop it, Anthony. Don't need to know about her. Um, <laughs> all right, so we got that, and then we got the hat. Let's see how the hats fit on their new heads. That's a really good fit, actually. Oh, my dog's mad at me right now. He's like, you shut the door on me? Oh, my God. How dare you? Shut the door on me, Dad? How could you? So there's what the hat looks like. Yeah, right. God, shut up. These. God. Um, not you guys. I was referring to something else. All right, so this is what the hats look like on the old ones. Here's Checkmate. It's my character. All right? That's what the old hats look like on them. If my guy looks a little bit taller, it's because he's on a figure stand. So don't worry. They're not. Uh, sh the new ones aren't shorter or anything like that. All right, so next we'll put his vest on. Your little vestibule on there. <laughs> yeah, it's dog hour in my area right now. Holy Toledo. All right, get his pouches on too. These pouches, because they're a, a two peg setup right here, they're going to be a little bit, you might want to peg them in or just glue them in. I mean, if you're set on doing that, just glue them in because they're not going to stay. They, this stuff just does not stay. It's too small. It doesn't stay. So don't, uh, you're going to have to glue stuff. So, oh, that's upside down, dumbass. There we go. Like so. I'm trying to get this in. Hold on. I got to do this off camera. I can't. I just don't have enough room. God, my dog is being so ignorant right now. So ignorant. It's like ignorant hour. Don't you, don't you wonder what they're talking about out there? this is my house no this is my house no this is my house they all think it's their this is my neighborhood no this is my neighborhood no this is, that's what they're all saying to each other right now no 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 this is my neighborhood i've been here first no 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 i was here first no 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 i was here first they're all just arguing with each other right now they're all saying the same exact thing to each other roar 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 you know roar roar all right, so let me get him out of here. He doesn't need to be in the video. There you go with the different uh, selections for the contract ops. Come on, stand, you dipshit. There we go. Nope. See, like I said, there's not a whole lot of ankle room here. And you really want to kind of just get there we go. That's a little bit better. Come on. Jeez Louise. All right, so here's the uh, the leg holster in black and green setup. Let's do that really quick. There you go. Cool, cool, looking good. More bags stuck to my arms. Love it. Love it. 
Um, let me get him all set up with these uh, the black and green stuff because I think it looks really, really does look really good. Now he wants to come back upstairs because he's a spoiled brat. I'm sure you guys are riveted by my dog talk here. But we're going to be talking more dogs in about a second because I'm going to get the dogs in here next. All right. There's the knee pad that looks really good. Oh, I have a ton of figure stands. I'm just I just don't have them here right now. Come on. I know I should just take the leg off and slide it from the top down, but I'm doing it the hard way on purpose just to show you that you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> you can do it you can do it all night long <laughs> you can do it give her a five second frencher you know anger management there we go all right so we'll do that leave him there like that come on there we go all right and then here's the black or the green and uh silver tomahawk with its sheath and then here's the green bandana rama where's my tweezers here there we go dope and then we got a green canteen more handcuffs and then green and black elbow pads. So there you go. That is um, all of the contract apps. Those are the four, as far as variety go, those are the four that you can get your hands on, right? To, uh, in in, in mid-January when these are released. Zorpox, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Marine. Ring, ding, ding. And then this bag that I got here, what in the world is going on with this head? Oh, okay. I know what's going on here. If you guys are like, why is that all green? Is that the Hulk? No, it's not the Hulk. It's to give off that, um, that old school, if you want to do like an all green army man, like from back in the day before we had like gi <laughs> joe's you had your green army men they gave you a full bag of all green stuff to make that so that's, that's you know it's an option there you got hats hats gas mask all the previous stuff that was released before is in this little bag that i got here including hands and goggles and Obviously, uh, sleeved, regular sleeved, non-armored forearms. We got little attachments. This is all stuff that was released before. Um, they just put it all in green. Um, it's actually kind of like a green and a darker green. So, there's that that little bag for trinkets and stuff. So there's that. And he fell over. Let's pick him up. He wants to take a nap. He's tired from his long travel all the way here. Like, oh, man, it's a long flight. I know, bud. Took you a while to get here. <laughs> All right, so this is just another bag. If I find anything new, I will point it out and I will show it. But I think I showed everything new with the contract app. So we're going to put the contract apps. Uh, we're just going to back them up. I'm going to get to the dog next. Show you the dog, what the dogs are all about, all right? Let me put this stuff away because it's going to get lost. Right, so there's that. I'm going to put this stuff back in the bag really quick. So bear with me and then we'll get to the dog. Get to the dog. The dog. And uh, so, okay. Don't worry. Like I said, there's going to be uh, more of these videos. Dissecting everything. Seeing how everything works. The dogs, huh? I knew someone was gonna say that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. 
What? Dental plan? Dental plan? Anyway. Alright. Here we go with this stuff. Let's put this stuff away. There we go. In there. In there. In there. And in there. And here too. Oh my god. Please leave me alone. I'm trying to do something. <laughs> Phone is flipping a shit. What is this? Oh, okay. That was actually a good text. A good old, as Ted uh, Mosby would say, old Schmosby, texty text. <laughs> I love that episode. It's so good. Damn it! Your hat, your 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 vest fell off. Little Dingleberry. Get back over there. Damn Dingleberry boy. Headset back on your head. All right, there we go. Whew, the heat from these lamps. I love lamp. Brick, are you just staring at things and saying you love them? I love lamp. God, I will tell you guys, do not go see that new Will Ferrell, John C. Riley movie called Holmes and Watson. Horrible movie. Awful. Don't go see it, please. Don't do it to yourself. You can torture yourself watching that thing. It's terrible. It's not funny at all. <laughs> it's not. It's the biggest waste of money. I didn't pay to go see the movie. It was free, but whew, it's bad. If you're going in there expecting Step Brothers, don't. Like Step Brothers quality, don't. All right. Oh my God. This dog is so dope. Can't wait to show you guys. All right. There we go. Oh. Yeah, it's terrible. I don't know what they were thinking going with Sherlock Holmes comedy movie i'm like what can this not be a thing please it was bad it was like really bad and i went with like, i went with like three friends and they were all like we got out of the movie and we we're just like kind of looking at each other like what the, what the hell did we just watch <laughs> what is this garbage we just watched you know there okay there's the doggy woof woof woofy mcgee all right, he comes with a whole bunch of stuff. This is so cool. Oh, my God. Oh, he comes with a little dog bone. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys. Oh, God, this is so cool. All right. I am so glad we got these damn dogs. All right. They have really good articulation, guys. All right. Now, keep in mind, this is all we got before. <laughs> I mean, good lord. It was that and like this before. And <laughs> this is about it as far as like what we were getting with like animals. One mold. I think there was a, a timber wolf with a neck articulation that went up and down that was fugly looking, you know. But wait until I show you the articulation on this guy. I love it. All right. So as far as his articulation goes, his head can swivel. Um, I think he's on a ball. Is that a hinge I see in there? Yeah, there's a hinge. There's a hinge right there. Okay. My dog wants to come up here. Hinge up and down. Okay. Now he does actually come with an extra neck. We'll get to that in a second. All right. Uh, so, hinge joint at the neck, swivel at the neck, swivel at the head also. Okay, I'm, i got to get up in camera. I'm not in the camera frame. So, swivel at the neck, hinge at the neck. Swivel at the neck as well, or head, neck. I'm not saying things properly. Um, he has a ball-jointed, hinge-jointed legs. Look at that. <laughs> that is fantastic. Legs go forward, really good range of motion there. There's also a hinge joint in the neck, which I need to point out, so you can get him looking way down. Uh, there is a little bit of paint chipping going on here. Right there. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of paint coming off. So, just a note. I mean, it's. I guess it's kind of going to happen. It doesn't. It shouldn't happen, but it's. it's going to happen. 
with that hinge joint. But a really good range of motion. Oh, my God, that range of motion with the... <laughs> He's like, hooray! <laughs> I'm finally here! Hooray! <laughs> um, anyway, all right, I'll stop being a nerd. Um, <laughs> there you go. His legs go out. They can go forward really well. So if he's like trying to put his paws on, on somebody or attack them, you know, he just looks like he's begging for a treat right now. He's like, I'm walking for my treat. I'm walking for my treat. Um, and then you have a bend at the elbow. So really good there with the bend. And then there's it fully extended. Okay. And then you got a little bit of a kind of like an ankle pivot and a hinge joint there hinge joint. And then he does kind of have that nice ankle pivot, that like Marvel Legends style ankle pivot right there. So that's really good. I mean, if you can't get this guy to stand, I, you might as well put down action figures. <laughs> if you can't get this dog to stand properly, you know. On the uh, torso, it does have a swivel. And it does have a crunch. Wow, look at that crunch. I was not expecting that much. It's on a bald joint. But look at that crunch movement. And the swivel, too. Damn, this might, th these are definitely the best dog action figures ever made, without a doubt, already. The tail goes up, down on a hinge joint, you can swivel. The legs go out, spread eagle, you know, um, in case he's got to do a tinkle, you know, pee, 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 you know, you can swivel the legs, a single jointed, eh. No. Nice hinge joint right there in the leg. You can fully extend that leg. God damn, that's so good. And then the lower leg, the I guess that would be the rear leg bow thing. <laughs> leg extender. The 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 knee joint, the other the inverted leg knee joint. I don't know what you would want to call that portion of the leg. Um, but it does have a hinge joint, does swivel, and then the foot does go back and forth on a hinge joint and does have the ankle pivot on the back legs too. So amazing articulation here. This is by far the best, the best articulated action figure dog I have ever seen. This almost has more articulation than them, <laughs> I want to say. That is, uh, this is very impressed. I am very impressed. Very impressed. That is uh, absolutely fantastic. Let's get him in a little. He's going to take a little pee pee. He's going to go pee pee real quick. Okay, he's doing a little tinkle. Don't mind him. Ooh. Tinkle time. Okay, tinkle time for him. Okay, and then <laughs> oh, we're not even close to being done with this. Nope. We don't even have articulated one six scale dogs, I know. <laughs> and then we got this extra, he's like growling. He's he is he is not happy. Ears pinned back, teeth showing, run. Run for the hills, ladies and gentlemen. Cujo's here. He's coming after you. Beautiful figures. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man. This is why I love Marauders. This is why I love it. A little, little, little biscuit. <laughs> a little bone. <laughs> biscuit or bone. It's got a little M in there, too. For Marauders, obviously. Nice little touch. Love it. Uh, the, um, I'm sorry. I didn't show this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I'm sorry. Get glad. Me mouth is also articulated, by the way. And yes. Yes, yes. You can put the dog bone in the mouth. Look at that. <laughs> Name me any other figure line that can do that. You can't. You cannot. All right, next up 
we're going to do his little muzzle. And the muzzle simply just goes right. I actually want to feed the uh, nose in first. And then hold on a second. Let me get this. Uh, I have to do this off camera just because. Uh... All right, so you want to put the ears in first, and then you want to push this forward. It's a pliable plastic, so don't worry. You're not going to break or anything or snap it. You want to put the ears in first and then feed that over the nose. Okay, hold on. I might have to get my tweezers out. There we go. Fingers do not uh, work so well. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Now I'm dropping. People are flopping all over the place. There we go. And there is your muzzled dog. Beautiful. Look at that. That is so dope. All right. Next up, we'll put his collar on. Now, the collar works on the uh, the peg system. Or kind of like a, a, a hoop system kind of thing type deal. Um, now, there are two different types, which I'll show you right now. There is the type that... All right. Let me get them out of the way. Sorry. I was trying to keep them in the background just in case new people were popping in the stream and... They're like, oh, did you already show the contract ops? So you could see them. But I'm having focusing issues now. All right, so there's two different types of leashes right here for the dogs. There's the regular one that goes around the, the neck, and then there's the one that attaches to the harness, okay? So there's the harness one, and there's the regular leash around the neck. So let's put the leash around the neck really quick. And then I'm assuming you just want to feed this through, right? You actually might want to, I'm obviously probably doing this backwards, but you want to feed this through first and then maybe pop the head or neck off. Let's see if I can get this head off. There we go. So you want to do that. It didn't take much to do. Really. And actually, you want to take the head off, not the, <laughs> not the neck. So let's take that off. All right, and then I'll actually put this uh, angry head on with the leash. So, put that on. And actually, I'll put the other neck piece on. Just to show you the, oops, the differences here. Oh, God. Tiny pegs, big hands suck. Come on. Jump on, as Michael Jackson would say. Now, the reason why they give you two different necks is because it's kind of a different style look for the necks. Hold on a minute. I'm trying to get this leash. I see it. I want to say that the leashes are definitely a lot more work going around the neck. And obviously the ones that you're going to peg into the harness. Now, I use a harness for my dog when I walk him. But, I mean, you can use the traditional leash that goes around the neck and then line it up with the neck. Okay, so you got this regular neck that it comes with, right? And then you've got this neck as well that pegs in and kind of gives him a little bit of a more of like an arched back look. So I, I think this looks really well with his teeth showing and kind of gives him different posture, you know? I think it looks pretty damn good. Where the regular, this one that I was on before is kind of like your neutral looking neck. This is like a kind of like an arch back, maybe tail down. Oh yeah, Law and Order or Mutt. Absolutely. Absolutely, Matt. <laughs> I know Zorpots at the drum set in the sack. I know. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty cool looking. I really like that. Um, like I said, you're going to have to work with it a little bit. I definitely suggest maybe instead of, I mean, obviously if you want to swap the heads, it didn't take me much to take the heads off or the neck off. So it's not too bad there. Um, I haven't attempted to take the legs off or anything like that yet. So I'll do that down the road. Uh, I'm not going to do that right here because I don't want to make this too long video. I know I said I was going to be here for a while, but I don't want to make it too long for you guys. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But I'm going to go with that for now. And Germans always have that kind of like those, those hips, because I know a lot of German Shepherds. I've always wanted to get a German Shepherd, or have a German Shepherd. 
Um, I know they have a lot of hip issues, though, as they get older. Poor things. I am a dog person, so... <laughs> Obviously, I have a dog. <laughs> but those of you that don't know that, now you do. Um, but yeah, it looks really good with the ears pinned back and everything. Oh, God, these dogs are so cool. These are so cool. Man, I'm just really, like, geeking out right now with these. All right, so next we'll do the vest. We'll do the, the little, like, bulletproof and, like, tactical vest that he's got. I think this is so cool. <laughs> this, is the, this is the coolest little thing. Like I said, I am a huge, like, animal lover. Like, I, <laughs> I was dating this one girl one time, and she, um, like, because I don't care. Like, like, things don't creep me out, like spiders and stuff. Like, I actually really like spiders a lot. All right, we'll put his little, let's put, hold on a minute. I gotta get this back on here. But I was dating this one girl, and she was, like, really into, like, um, like spiders and stuff like that. And she put, like, a, she didn't tell me it was poisonous, but she put a poisonous tarantula on my head. And it was just crawling on my head. And she was like, isn't this freaking you out? I was like, no. No, it doesn't, doesn't bother me. She's like, it's poisonous, just so you know. I'm like, oh, well, thanks for putting it on my head first and then telling me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you could have told me that before, and I still might have let it crawl on my head because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but, <laughs> all right, now we got some goggles here. We got some tactical goggles for our little buddy. What should we name him? What should we name him? Shep? <laughs> that would be the like the lamest. <laughs> we'll name him Shep. All right, that's that's his name, Shep. There we go. <laughs> Shep Boyardee, right? Just slap me, right? But uh, yeah, I let this. So I let this uh, tarantula crawl on my head. He's just crawling, and then he was just like, I think he fell asleep on my head actually, because he wasn't moving. He wasn't dead, obviously, but he wasn't. <laughs> he was just chilling on my head. You know, doggles. That's right. He's got a little dog goggles. Look at that. Dog goggles. He's angry. You could definitely um, see him being a sandstorm. Where where is a where is a sandstorm dog? Oh, we only got a husky. Uh, I guess we could do. Oh wait. Could go. Oh, let me back that up. Sorry, you guys couldn't see that. Back it on up. They're so short. I just, I, it's hard to get a good camera shot on them. Get him to. Oh, he can sit too. Let's get him to sit. Ready? We're gonna get him to sit. Hold on a minute. Sit, boo boo. Sit. Good dog. Roof. <laughs> Oh, what a good boy. He sits, he listens, right? He's angry, he's got his goggles on. <laughs> All right, you guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love this. What a good boy. I better let my dog up here. He's going to start flipping out. I'm getting jealous. Or, you want to come up? Come on, bud. Like, I hear you talking about dogs up here. I hear you talking about dogs and... <laughs> you gotta have the... You gotta have the... You gotta have the D in the room with you, right? While we're talking about Ds, right? All right, so let's work on the harness next, right? All right, there's a lot of... Oh, my God, there's a lot of attachments here. All right, so you got your first tactical vest right here, right? For him. And you're definitely going to want to take the, the at least the head off. Okay? So since he's sitting, he's being a good boy. And then here's the other one. This is like the more heavily armored one. Look at that sculpt. Looks really good. I like the armor plating on the side for him. Hey, buddy. I know. You like the dogs, too? You like the dogs, too, bud? 
Good boy. <laughs> He's like, yes, I do. All right, so next up we got, I don't know what this is. I think I'm, I'm assuming it's like a, some sort of like a, I want to say it's like some sort of communication device that you can attach to the back here. Let me get my tweezers out. All right. Oops. Dropping stuff. This stuff's so small, I can't. All right, so you got this little, like, communication device thing here, right? And you want to attach that to the back of the harness. Let's get that out. There we go. All right, we'll move Shep over here, okay? Shep, good job. Good, good boy. And we want to just attach that to the back, like so. There you go. You got yourself a little communication device thing. Yeah, maybe GPS tracker, too. Yeah, that could be it. And then we have, like, a little pouch to put on the back of, or on the side, too. We have a lot of different options. You got two holes on this side, two holes on the other side, two holes up top. So you, you got a lot of options with this little little pup right here. And that fits, you can fit that there. And then he does have a little harness handle for you to hold on to, in case he's being a bad boy and, you know, you're being a, are you being a bad boy? No? Oh, hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there, you little turkey. I gotta use a little bit of elbow grease with that handle right there. It's a little bit of a rubbery. Oops, dropping stuff. Rubbery style thing going on there. There we go. And we'll put his pouch back on and then we put his little GPS communication device back on there. And there you go. You got his little harness handle and stuff like that. Looking pretty cool there, huh? And then I think maybe it's on the other vest. Let me check here. I'm trying to figure out where you peg in this in accordance to the harness. And by this I mean this little peg, right? I'm looking here and I'm only seeing circular pegs. I'm not seeing like a slot this it should be like that hmm. it is i'm not sure man maybe i'm missing something here he also comes with another pouch right here so you can put this other pouch on the other side right like that and he can carry stuff for you because that's what good doggies do All right and then we're going to put this on him so let's get this on him we'll take this other take this leash off of him Really quick. Keep his goggles on, right? Because we want him to be tactical. Let's see if we can fit this over his head. And get away with it. Eh. Yeah, I'd suggest taking the head off. It's probably a lot easier. Uh, but we got it on. Anyway. All right, let's get that on like that. Now keep in mind, I'm not gluing anything right now. I'm just kind of showing you as fast as I possibly can. So even with not gluing, everything's pretty much staying for the most part. We'll get him to sit. Good boy again. There we go. Oh, there goes the pouch. It's okay. We'll put the pouch up here. There we go. We'll put his pouch over here because the legs are kind of sticking out. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Look at how cool that is. There you go. He's all geared up. He's protecting his bone. I won't go near him. <laughs> so there is the German Shepherd. And they're all pretty much come with the same stuff. Let me get that in there a little bit better so it doesn't look so wonky. Uh, obviously, once you glue everything in, um, it'll work a lot better. Uh, like I said, there's... Four different types of dogs. I already showed them in the beginning of the video. Um, there's the black one. The all black one. Let's get him out of the way really quick and I'll show you again. For those of you that just tuned in. 
There's the black one, same tech vest, same attachments and everything. Um, she, she's just all black with red eyes, by the way. Does have red eyes. And then we have your kind of gray and light gray wolf wolf right here and then he comes with like a like a dark uh, like a brown and a tan tack vest i will answer your question hold on one second does the tack gear come in black yes if so yeah oh yeah you could definitely Make him into a Cobra Trooper dog. Yeah, Timber. Timber, obviously, you could go with you can go with that if you wanted to. Because Timber's a, you know, he's a wolf. So you can go wolf style with this. Oops. Having streaming issues again. Wolf style with this one. You can go Timber with that. And then you got your Husky, too. And he even has blue eyes. I know, right? Look at this. Look at the comparison here. There's like no comparison. Look at that. And like I said, the jaws articulated. Comes with that extra head that's angry. The ears pinned back. This is just so much better than this. Ugh. This doesn't really... It can't really do anything. It just kind of sits. But for years, you know, that was the thing. It's like, oh, we're lucky to even get a dog. Now we have fully articulated dogs. <laughs> Which is amazing. So, all right, let's get him back out here. He looks so good. Damn. Yep, so those are the four, I believe, that I got. There, I think there was more unlockables as they went along with the Kickstarter. Like I said, I didn't go all in. I couldn't afford it. This was still quite a bit of money. I got the tier below all in. So this isn't everything that you're seeing here. There's, like I said, the, the, the also they're going to have stuff open in the shop, I want to say mid-January. So not to worry. We'll get him all. Oh, God, that was not a good sound. <laughs> that was not a good sound right there, that right there. All right, get this guy. Kind of petting his little woof woof here. I'm petting my woof woof. I don't know why he sounds like an 80 year old man, but for some reason he does. Don't make fun of me. I'm petting my woof woof. Oh, Ori. What's up? All right, there we go. The good boy. Oh boy, he's getting jealous. He knows I'm talking about dogs, and he knows it's not him. There we go. Oh, no. Come on. I want you to bend both parts of your knee joint, sir. I want you to actually... I want, actually want him to bend his... I want him, come on. His knee joints are really tight because he's just a brand new figure. That's, that's it. That's all it is. There we go. Put your hat back on there, you silly dip. All right. That's not the best pose, I know. Don't. <laughs> kind of doing that at the... <laughs> there you go. You got a little treat for him right there. So there you go. You got your dogs. Now, I suppose we should move on to... Le exosuit, right? Showed the contract ops, all of them and their attachments and whatnot. Showed the doggy, right? There's your doggy. My dog, yo dog. Let's get the dogs put away. All right, now I just need a, an Oreo colored task force dog like this. That's what Oreo looks like. That's all I need. So I'm getting all this stuff out. 
and get it situated first. And I'm going to put my dog stuff away so that does not get lost. Because the last thing I want to do is lose any of this dog stuff. There's a little leash away. I might not actually use the leashes. Get him out of here. All right. Like I said, if you guys have any more questions before I move on about the dogs, before I move on to the exosuits, that's what I'm going to next. Wow, these are really cool looking. I'm trying to like figure out how they work first. This is my first time touching these things, so I'm trying to kind of figuring it out how it goes or how how things go along here. I'm figuring it out as it goes along. So I'm trying to I can't talk properly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Lead the pack. I know, right? Leaper. That's Oreo's uh, code name. Leaper. Cause he can. My dog can jump like seriously, like six feet in the air. Cause he's a he's a border collie lab mix, so he's like seventy pounds, and he's got like the best of both worlds. Like he's got like all all the size of like a lab, but all the agility and the the intelligence of a border collie. And border collies are extremely intelligent, and they're they're basically like. They're like cattle dogs, kind of. They uh, round up cattle and stuff like that. And they're like circus dogs. They're very intelligent. He picks up things very quickly. So, yeah. So we're gonna move on to the exosuits. I'm gonna get these two. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep them in the in the shot here. I'm gonna just push them back and over to the side there. I'm going to get his little biscuit over here because you he don't want him to be angry. No, right now he's smiling. He has little goggles on. <laughs> All right, so here is the exosuit. I'm going to have to... I know it's kind of like flopping and folding over because there's no body in it right now. But Oscar, what's up, buddy? Welcome. We're just moving on to the exosuits. As we can see, the uh, I did the dogs. I did the contract ops. I showed all... For the contract ops guys, I showed all four of the dogs that I got. And uh, just to bring you up to speed, I, this is not the all-in. So this isn't everything. I'm just kind of showing you one of each. Um, I went the tier below all-in. So, all right. There is a lot of stuff here. Okay. <laughs> um, let me get a body. I might use a female body for the exosuits, if you guys don't mind. So we'll go with that. I can find one. For Pete's sake. All right, we'll go with a green one. We'll go with that. You know, we'll try both. We'll try a male and a female body and see what, how they fit. Because I, I don't want to leave anything out. I know, but I'm excited about doing the exosuits too. Oreo's excited. I'm excited. You guys are all excited. I know. Crash, what's up, man? Oh, good lord. I can't get this head out. That's what she said. <laughs> all right, so I want to see nothing much. Well, I hope you're having a. I hope you're all having a, go, a good uh, Friday. Have a good Friday. I hope you had a great Friday. God knows I did. I am having one right now too. All right, so I'm going to use this all green body, which is actually a really nice green. I really like this color green. That is a really just good looking green right there. And then we're going to use this kind of like brown Terra Ops for the female. And we're going to peg them in and see how they look. First, obviously, I don't want them to go headless, so 
Let's give them a little character here. We'll just give them the masked, the masked heads, the faceless ones. There we go. Bala, clava heads. There we go. All right, so we got two characters right here. And I just kind of want to show how Fitman is with all of this. And I'm going to uh, do this with a tack vest on too. Um, obviously, with these tack vests right here, let me point this out first and foremost because just to clarify how the tack vest will work. Obviously, with the the um, these first style tack vests right here, they don't have back pegs. Oops, I just knocked them over. Oh well, they don't have back pegs to them, so you're not you're, whether you. Uh, and I showed this before, actually on the previous video for Marauders that I did. You're going to have to Dremel a little hole um, because you do have to use a back peg for the exosuits. So if you do want to have this tack vest on, you're going to have to Dremel. Uh, with the other tack vest, they all have back pegs, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's that one specific one. All the others have back pegs, so you don't have to worry about any of the others. Just that one, if you want to use that one specific one. All right, so let's go ahead and... We'll start off with the female first, okay? I just want to see how she fits in there. Well, we'll do it without a tack vest, and then we'll do it with a tack vest and see if we can accomplish that. All right, so you just want to peg her into the back, right? And then you want to, I'm assuming, actually, you might want to get the legs in first. Let's do that. And it is a tight fit. Like, she's not, she's not going anywhere, you know? Actually, we could probably just, is this a pliable... Yeah, it's kind of pliable. Can open that up a little bit. Actually, yeah, you might want to get these legs in first. There we go. Okay. Now, the ladies are going to be a little bit sh on the shorter side here. And like I said, you want to peg that hole into the foot like so, right? And then, obviously, there's little ball joints right here, right, on the side. So just let the ball joints kind of work and do what they want and bend the way they want. Um, don't force anything, obviously. You don't want to break anything or snap something, especially if you're just getting these brand new. Just kind of want to work them in like I'm doing and let this ball joint bend and curve up like I just did, okay? And then you want to just peg that in to the foot. Make sure that pegs in, so we got the uh, foot articulation in there properly. And then, you know, you can see, get away from her, you bitch, you know. And then with the arms, just want to fish the arm in like so, and then feed the hand in like that. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Like I said, let the ball joints do what they're going to do. Um, I don't know why this is kind of... Hold on, let me take a look at this off camera really quick. All right, that's going to go like that. Okay. It's a, it's a little bit of a, a tighter fit with the females just because they're a little bit smaller and a little bit on the shorter side. But, yeah, you really want to get that hand in first. And then you want to... Play with the ball joint after. Like I said, don't force anything. You know, let let it do what it wants to do first. There we go. This way you don't you don't break anything. You don't have any breakage issues or anything like that. And then you kind of want there we go. This is how you want it to look like this. Okay. You want to have that ball joint kind of straight down, right? The ball joint kind of straight down, okay? And then you want to have that covering the uh, the uh, bicep, this kind of bicep covering right here. Okay, so then we got our wings here, okay? She's going to go flying around. She's, she's, she's ready to fly around town and take out some uh, mercs, you know? So we're just going to simply just attach that to the hole in the back. It's very simple. And, oh, actually, yeah, there we go. 
Is that the way you want it? Or you might want it this. No, that's that's the right way. Yeah. There you go. So, and the wings are articulated. I'll go through articulation and everything like that in a minute. Okay, so next up we have, oh my God. Whew, so many attachments right now. <laughs> we do have a chest piece that I, maybe I wanted to put on before <laughs> doing all <of> that. <laughs> so, it's okay. I'll go through it. I'll do it. Because I want to do it right. Okay, so we'll do that. Now we'll get this on like this. I'm assuming it goes like that, right? And you want to put that on like that. Okay. And, oops. It's okay if it comes out. No big deal. Just gentle. Genteel, you know? There we go. With that and that. And now you have her chest protector rig thing on. And we'll put her wings back on too. So don't do what I did. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> Obviously. There we go. She's looking pretty cool. What do you guys think? What do you think about that? That looks pretty awesome. It's Centurions, I know. <laughs> I know I need a Tom Cruise looking dude. Hey, what what you guys think of Fallout? I thought I thought it was I thought it rocked. I like that movie. I watched that movie with my dad. He loved it. He's like, this is a really good movie. I haven't seen a good action movie in years. I'm like, well, you know, I've been watching action movies, I guess. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, there you go. Maybe, I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming that you probably could use attack vest. I'm going to attempt to do that as well. So we'll go with that. But I want to get some of these attachments on. So right here, you have like a, I want to assume, this this does remind me of the kind of, uh, I want to say stinger missiles, kind of smaller stinger missiles that are actually on the side of the Cobra Rage. So we'll put it on this side. It's the same side that the, it's on the Cobra Rage. So we'll put it on that side right there. And you want to just peg that into the arm right there like that. Okay. You can peg it into the legs too if you want the legs to have it. Peg in the legs, the arm, the shoulder. If you want to have it sitting on the shoulder, you could do that. And then let's go Pacific Rim here. You know, because why not? We'll go Gypsy style with the big old sword or blade over there okay that looks pretty cool and then well actually you know what we'll switch this off and we'll put this on the shoulder how's that she's gonna be oh boy she's not gonna be not gonna want to mess with this broad after i get her all geared up no no come on it is a tight fit i know it's sticking out a little bit i just didn't want to force it too much all right, we'll get a, get a little bit of the uh, get away from her, you bitch. With this one. Oop, I'm flipping around there, dumbass. There we go. Got a flamethrower right there. Pacific Rim on the other side. A little, oh, that's coming off. All right, we'll try the leg. How's that? I should use heat. I know. I'm just trying to see how this stuff pegs in. Oh, that pegged in pretty nicely, actually. There we go. Okay. She does come with a belt also. I probably should have put the <laughs> probably should have put the belt on. It's just a regular belt. Um it does have a new sculpt to it. Just to point that out. Um yeah, I probably should have put the belt on first, but we'll do that with the mail. No big deal. I'll let you put that on right now.
he had petite feet, a feminine step, walking like a lady when he walked on through the room. He said, petite feet, a feminine step. <laughs> this is what a man sounds like when he walks. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> this is what he sounded like when he walked. <laughs> it kind of stuck in my head all week long. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a Tim and Eric show. I uh, <laughs> can't help it. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. <sighs> all right. So next up we have, um, I'm guessing some sort of like a gun. I'm not sure if it's like a laser gun or whatever. Just use your imagination here. I'm going to attach that up there. There we go. And then it's sticking out. It looks a little wonky. But And then we over here, we have like a grenade launcher. Get my tweezers out here. Got like a grenade launcher right here. So we're, we will attach that to the other side. I know, like I said, I know it looks a little wonky. I'm not really trying to, like, <laughs> glue anything in just yet. She also comes with, like, a shield. So you could attach that to her forearm or her wherever you want. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you would probably want this attached to her arms so she can use the shield. Come on. Ugh. So she can use the shield, you know? But that's what it looks like. Here's the other side. And... Yeah, it's just pegged in there. Pretty cool. And then you also have like a claw arm, which you can attach to her forearm or her, if you wanted to attach it to her leg. Maybe she has an, an arm coming out of her leg. <laughs> an arm coming out of her leg there. Uh, it looks like it's articulated, but it's not. Just so you know. Those uh, joints right there, are they're just molded. So don't try to move them. You might snap it. And then over here, it looks like we got some sort of 50 cal gun right here that you can attach. She is, she would be like crazy. Look at this. Look at this. This is insane. Ugh. You know, I don't want to stretch out that hole too much. It's starting to, come on, get in there. I got to heat this stuff up. All right, so, but you can put it in the leg, obviously. All right, and then next up we have, where's her, wait, am I missing something? Where's the, the two feet, the feminine step. Now you're being a good boy. Now you're being a good boy, or Missing a helmet. I think I'm... No. I could have swore there was a helmet attachment. With these. Because that's supposed to peg in. Huh. Well, now I'm confizzled. Malkin fizzled. So if I combine the claw, that robot arm, get that robot suit. Oh, the um, payloader? Yeah, I know. Get away from her, you bitch. Um, hmm. Or does she just say, she doesn't say you bitch. Or does she say, I think she just says, get away from her bitch. Or does she say you bitch? It's one of the two. I know there's a, I know there's a, a specific way she says. I think a lot of people think it's, it's you bitch, but I think it's just bitch.
Oh no, I think it is you, bitch. I think it is. Someone look it up. You can find it on YouTube, I'm sure. Alright, so as far as like a helmet, you could go with like something like that. Obviously, you don't want to go with this color. Maybe you do. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. But you could go with like that. Obviously. With that. Obviously not that color, but you know. <laughs> sure you get my drift. Um, all right, so I'm gonna attempt to do this with a different helmet, with one of the helmets that uh, her pack came with. So you can go with that. Let me see if this is gonna fit right. Where I do it? No, that doesn't go there like that. No, that doesn't look right. Okay. Oh, it goes on the. Oh, I'm so stupid. There we go. You are the stupid. You know that. All right, so you want to get a helmet, right? And then you want to feed this attachment onto the helmet right here. You want to feed that onto the side like that. So she's got a little thing, right? But with this helmet, it doesn't have a hole on the side. So you won't be able to use this targeting portion. So let's get this helmet on. Oh my God, all hell is breaking loose in the city of Buffalo right now. I don't know what's going on. It's like ambulances and, <laughs> you know. Okay, so there she is pretty much as geared up as I can get her at this point. Um, I showed you the shield. I showed you the 50 cal. I showed you, oh, I didn't show you this. This is like another little, like, attachment that you can use for her arm or whatever you want to do. Legs or whatever. Another, like, bladed weapon. Pretty cool. Very Pacific Rim looking. The battle armor snake with the cobra car attachment. Yeah, Brennan, they did. Uh, well, no, they're they're. Hold on, let me clear the air. Um, their website's down, and I got this stuff through their Kickstarter, which happened about a year and a half ago. Okay. Now, if you were part of that Kickstarter when it happened. You get this stuff this before its regular release because I put money into the Kickstarter. Um, as of, I want to say, mid-January, the stuff will be on their site. Their site is down right now due to them taking a holiday, uh, which I don't really blame them for doing, to be honest with you. So they're taking a holiday right now, and their site is going to be down, I think, until the beginning of January, just so you know. So if you go on there right now, you won't be able to place an order. Um, and none of this stuff is on the website anyway right now. So there's the dog in the background, the dog, and the contract ops guy. Um, I showed them earlier, so you can go back and watch this if you want to. Uh, so right now I'm going to get, I'm actually just going to get another exosuit out and do this all over again with a guy. Because I just think that's easier. I don't feel like taking her all apart again. And going through all that silliness. So we'll go with the... Hmm. What should we go with? We'll go with the. Uh, ooh, we'll go with this like silver or charcoal one. Like metallic looking one. A step. So we'll go with that. Okay. Let me put. Where'd that bag go for the... Oh, there it is. I put everything, I'm just putting everything back in the bag. I don't want things to get lost. That's like the last thing I want right now. All right, that goes over there. All right, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to do this with a tack vest on, see how well it fits and all of that, just so I can test that out for you, for you all. Okay. All right, so we'll put her in the background over here. So we did her. She's all geared up, ready to go. Um, I will use... What, should I, what vest should I use? I'll use this one. Okay. And they still use the old peg system. So there's two little pegs there. The new vests come with the single peg articulation. Or articulation. Peg points, excuse me. 
And then we'll use a different helmet for his targeting monitor or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll use this one, this helmet. Uh, of course, it's at the bottom, and now I have to go through all this stuff. All right. So we'll use this helmet. There we go. We'll use this one. You want to make sure that it's got, uh, obviously, pegs on, peg holes on the side of the helmet. So, let's see. The, yeah, you can pretty much use the majority of the helmets, even the pilot helmet, with that targeting system that it comes with, if you wanted to. Um, the only one you can't use is this one. It doesn't have peg holes. You could dremel a hole on the side if you wanted to, if you really wanted to have that helmet. Um, if you want to use the targeting system, you don't have to. It's just, it's there. Like I said, it's kind of up to your discretion as to how you want to have this all set up. So it's really up to you. Ooh, that's a nice little beret. All right, so let's get him set up. We'll get uh, this vest on him. I should probably do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your head out of your rear end there. All right. All right, so I already put the belt on him. I'm going to put this vest on him. These vests, I found that um, with these vests, I'm going to back up my camera really quick so I'm not leaning so much forward over the table and I've got this stuff in my way and that stuff in my way and that stuff in my way and little bags everywhere. Okay. It's a little bit more comfortable now. Uh, I did find that now let me take the head off. If you peg these first, now these don't, these never stay really. They don't. Um, I really don't even suggest that you glue the tack vest. I think that if you get them in the right spot enough, that's good. I usually try to peg one side uh, really well, and then I just kind of like leave the other side because it's very difficult to get these to peg in and stay. Um, I usually will peg the vest first and then fish the body through. So I'll put my arm through, and it should stay pegged. And then I usually just kind of ease that over and then like that. And then sometimes it'll peg in, other times it won't. Like right now I just got lucky, so it pegged in nicely. So it's nice and flush. There we go. I see it, and then it popped out again. So I mean, it's going to happen. It, it's going to happen. So um, like I said, the until they switch these all over to the one peg system, which I think is a lot more efficient, then uh, you just kind of have to deal with that some people glue them i don't like to glue my vest um, as far as putting them together like that i don't like to glue them it's not a bad thing if you do it um i just it's a personal preference thing for me so all right so let's get our stuff out here and put his head back on and we'll put his helmet on too okay there we go that's what we're gonna go with for the his look I wanted to see how this fit, how the exosuits fit with the vest on and, and everything. So as far as clearance issues, if you guys will have any issues with that. So oh anytime, Brennan. Yeah. Anytime, buddy. If you guys like I said, if you have any questions, if you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, just don't hesitate to ask and I'll answer them as best as I can. Alright, so this time we're gonna <laughs> we're not gonna do things ass backwards. We're gonna <laughs> You know? All right. uh, well, he's got the wrong belt on, but just just ignore that. <laughs> uh, I already put the belt on him. Uh, all right, so we're going to go with this first. I'm going to take that off, and we're going to put this on just for now. I don't know how well this is going to do with the vest on. We might have to do this without the vest on because already look at that clearance. you got a lot of layers you got to go through with that peg. And you got to line up this to his back and have that sit. And it's already kind of smushing on his neck. So, but that's why we're doing this testing to see if it works. You know, that's the point. That is the point of all of this. 
Try to see how everything works. And then we'll go through our articulation of the, the mech. Actually, this is a pretty deep peg. It might, might be able to get it all the way in. Would you look at that? So if you want to use a tack vest with that, you can. Now, it is riding up a little bit on his neck. Um, that's due to the vest. But as you can see there, it do, you can get it on. So there's that option. It can work. Let's get this leg opened up and fish it through. Obviously, there's probably different ways you can do this efficiently. I'm just trying to do this as, as uh, quickly as possible because I don't want to spend uh, waste too much of all of yours time. All of yours time? That was weird. Um, all right, so you want to peg that in to the foot. Make sure that's in. There we go. Okay. And do the other leg. Like I said, it's a pliable plastic for the most part. So I'm trying to stay on camera as much as possible here. <laughs> when trying, fiddling around with this with an outstretched arm is not the uh, necessarily the easiest thing to work with. All right, so we got his, his uh, belt on, which I forgot to do with her. Sorry about that. And then we've got uh, his arm. You kind of want to line that up like that and then twist that around and then fish his arm through that hole there. Like so. You can take the hand off if you want. You can just fit the arm through. It's not a big deal. There we go. Beautiful. Wonderful! There we go. Holding on to that like the real deal. And then we'll get his other hand through here. You gotta do a little bit of uh, squeezing through. No big deal. Once it gets in, it's in. All right, and then spread his hand out like so. Have him wrap it around like so, and then twist that over there. And there you go. Took a little work, not a big deal. Looks legit, man. That looks pretty awesome. That looks pretty damn good. Woodman, what's up, bud? All right, let's get our attachments going. Okay, uh, Matt, take it easy, Matt Hill. Thanks for popping by, man. Pop on by some more. All right, moving on, everybody. Put his uh, put his uh, head attachment on first. Whoa, I got a big yawn. Whoa. All right, so this is how you put this on. You just want to peg that into the side of his helmet right here. Like so. Just fish it on there. Like that. And there you go. You got his, his eye attachment. His little targeting computer. Luke, you turned off your targeting computer. Why? Use the false. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> fish that in right there's like a peg and you want to port it right into the back like so i showed that earlier so you got your wings right all right how should we do this one we'll do the we'll do the flamethrower on the arm we won't do that again we'll do and we did the blade on the other arm okay with her so we'll, we'll exclude those two we'll do the arm uh, let's see actually what's this one? oh yeah we did that okay we won't do the same thing twice. We'll do the 50 cal up here. How's that? Make him a... Actually, we'll do that on the leg. He's got a 50 cal on his leg. <laughs> Can you imagine having a 50 cal, cal on your friggin' leg? <laughs> I could not imagine that. <laughs> that would be insane. The, uh, <laughs> the blowback on your leg. <laughs> You're like, ow! Oh! Oh, my leg's numb again, honey. What were you doing all day? I was in the exosuit again, shooting the 50 cal. Oh, well, we're going to have to ice it, honey. Oh, okay. You know, that's how that goes. 
<laughs> anyway, so we got this other like kind of like laser gun right here. We're going to attach to this other side here. It is a tight fit with these. There we go. Not sure it's hold on. Not sure it's on their site, but it's down for the holidays. Yeah, yeah, I explained that. Yep. Oh, he was oh you were talking to Woodman. Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, Woodman. Um Yeah, once the uh, store is up, they should have this stuff in stock. They said mid January. Late January. But they wanted to get this stuff out to the Kickstarter, the people that uh, joined the Kickstarter first. So that's why uh, I'm getting this stuff now. All right, so we'll finish that off. We'll put the shield on this time. How's that? Put the shield on. We'll get... Yeah, we'll put the shield on this one. And then just to be silly, we'll put this arm on his... <laughs> put this arm up here, maybe. <laughs> just to be silly, you know? Petite feet, a feminine step. Walking like a lady when you're walking in a room. No problem, bud. No problem, wouldn't it? This is what the guy sounds like. This is what a man sounds like when he walks. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> this is what the dude sounded like when he walked. <laughs> all right i'll stop i promise i promised i would stop earlier and i didn't there you go now we got the grenade launcher up there on his other shoulder holy shit and then we'll go with the there we go we got the shield on that side looking pretty cool man huh what you guys think huh all right we'll put him over here that is sick. There we go. Now, it does have other parts. Like I said, I kind of gave him... Well, I guess they both had that, but whatever. Yeah, it's that is looking awesome. Uh, so much fun. So much uh, more imagination you can use with these now. We were getting more and more variety. Like I said, I, I didn't go in on the World War II stuff, but I do plan on getting their, that stuff when it comes out uh, in the store. Because I do want to do some, like a, some, uh, like a World War II platoon. And uh, I'm a big World War II buff. So uh, as far as history goes, stuff like that. So like my, my grandfather fought in World War II. My great-grandfather fought in World War I. And then my father fought in uh, Vietnam. So, whole family lineage fighting in wars. But uh, I have a lot of... Actually, I have... Um, I don't know if you guys remember Brother in Arms action figures from a long time ago. Um, from... What was that name of that company? Oh, I have them downstairs. Hold on. Let me double check. The name of that company. One second. Just keep looking at those. Plan B toys, that's what they're called. So, and they made uh, they made these too, which is pretty cool. I had to get this. This is an old figure. I, I don't even know if I'm going to open it. Really old. They made these Plan B toys. I have a whole bunch of those. I should probably do reviews of them, huh? You know? These are really old. They don't make these anymore, and they go for quite a pretty penny. This is the Fire Chief. I think he goes for a pretty decent amount, but... Uh, but yeah, I have a whole bunch of those. They made World War II figures too. So those are pretty cool. If you guys find those for a decent deal, I would say pick them up. Yeah, I know. Flashback, right? <laughs> those are six inch style. So a little bit out of the three and three quarter inch realm, but uh, still cool figures nonetheless. As far as like detail goes and stuff like that, I think they're pretty damn good looking figures. They were a little bit limited in articulation, but they're also older figures. They're from 2003, so they're definitely older, but uh, like the sculpt, the detail, 
Um, like the bomb squad. I remember like the bomb squad guy came with like a full bomb suit. There's a police canine unit. Excuse me, I can't talk. Um, and if you collected them all, it was like the build a figure. You know, you got the jaws of life that you would connect, uh, collect and connect together. And then I have the majority of the uh, special forces guys, the kind of modern special forces. And then they had a World War II special forces as well. I have the majority of those also. So maybe I'll do like a, a video, like a flashback video, something like that. And uh, I'll do that down the road. But uh, so there you go, Art. Now, as far as the articulation goes for... For this, I mean, you're pretty much going to get to your, your, uh, until you have all this stuff glued in the way you want it, you know, um, things are going to move a little bit more. Obviously I don't have everything glued in. So if stuff starts falling out, like, like I said, you're going to want to glue the majority of this stuff once you get it the way you want it. Um, obviously this isn't going to be set up the way I want it, but I just kind of set it up so you guys can get an, a, a, a basic idea of what this will all look like. But as far as the wings go, they do are they are on a hinge joint and they're also a swivel too. So really good there. You do have some extra pegs here. So if you want to put some more additional weapons on there, um, you can. Like if you wanted to put here, let me put some more stuff on there. Because I don't want to exclude something. And then someone's gonna be like, hell you didn't show this. You know? So let's put this this on there. I think so when he's flying you can shoot these like stinger missiles at somebody. Right? Obviously, it's not going to make that noise, but. <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> as far as that goes. Uh, so the uh, the wings can do that. You can swivel this. Uh, I don't really think it, it, it's meant to swivel, but it's because it's on the peg joint. Oops, I'm knocking stuff off of him already. So I'm just going to let that fall. All right, so you have that as far as the backpack goes. So you can do that. You can also swivel the attachments that are on his back. Uh, they are in kind of like a little peg joint, which is fixed um, to fit with the pegs that you attach. So I don't know if you really want to swivel that because if you round out the peg hole, it might not fit as snugly as it's supposed to. Um, the arms, obviously, they're going to have, uh, they're going to be a little bit uh, limited in range of motion due to the uh, the exosuit, but uh, this is the range of motion that you can get. That's that's his arms pretty much maxed out going upward and then down. Um, obviously, if this moves, you just want to kind of move it back to fit back over his arm, but they will go up and down. Um, like I said, don't, uh, don't worry if these pop out of the peg holes um, as far as the little attachments right here for his arm pegs. Uh, you could just reattach them. It's not a big deal. You can get a full bend at full range of motion bend at the uh, the elbow right there. Uh, the wrist swivel obviously is going to be hindered because he's grabbing onto a handle right there to control the rest of the mech, but um, you can't really get much of a waist swivel either. Not really, I don't really think you, you really need it, to be honest with you. Um, and I have a tack vest on him, so it's obviously hindering that anyway. But he can do the splits in the, in the mech nicely. And then the lace can go forward, and they can go back a little bit. Um, the uh, As far as bending the knee, there's really no hindrance in the knee. You could probably get even more if you wanted to, like this. That's pretty much maxed out right there. And then getting the leg to go forward again, it's not too bad. Um, swiveling, you can get a little bit of a pivot in the, in the foot too. Um, it's kind of manipulated by this joint right here. So... The foot doesn't actually pivot itself. It's actually the mech pivoting for the foot. So you could depeg this and get a little bit more range of motion if you wanted to, like, like that, to get the foot kind of flat um, if you wanted to. So it does kind of have its own ankle pivot if you depeg it a little bit um, because the figures attached to the mech actually just have a swivel at the foot. They don't have a pivot, um, but uh, it is there. You can move the, the ankle up and down. Obviously, it's going to de-peg if you move it too much like I just did. But it works. It works nicely. I really like the way that works, actually. Now, let's. I want to test her out as far as the uh, the swivel does go. Uh, you can get a little bit of a swivel um, without things falling apart or 
Um, so you can work with it. You can definitely pose them pretty well, um, seeing as that you can get full range of motion in the elbows, the arms going up at the shoulder. Um, you can get head movement pretty nicely. Obviously, if you have a tack, you don't have a tack vest on um, or any type of armor on, um, you're going to get better range of motion like she will. So maybe you want to run this without a tack vest, but you can if you want to. It's just going to hinder uh, some things here and there as far as, uh, you know, being able to move the head a little bit more because once you have this piece on, now you don't have to run that piece, that little chest armor piece. You could not run it like I did in the beginning with her and then I put hers on. You don't have to run it and you can just run this and have that attached to the back of your tack vest if you want to. Um, that might actually help you with your head movement. So it, there's, there's a lot of options here that you can work with. So... But there you go. There is, that's pretty much everything I think we got as far as showing one individual, um, one, uh, one of each of what they look like. I showed, I showed them all, but I, I sh I'm showing pretty much right here, one of each rendition for the contract ops, the dogs, the mech suits. I showed actually two of the mech suits. Um, I showed all the new accessories that we got, like the katanas the, the, with the sheaths, the, uh, the tomahawks with the sheaths, the new bandanas, the new hats. Oh, I didn't show the hat and how that fits. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get him in here. Because I don't want to, I'm trying not to leave anything out, but I know I always forget something. That's what just happens. Right, let me find that. In my bag of goodies over here. In my bag of goodies over here. No, it's not in there. Is it in here? No, that's all the mech suit stuff. Where on where? Where, oh, where did it go? Where, oh, where did it go? Here it is. Okay, found it. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I just went in uh, on the Mythic Legions. Uh, I went all in on that Mythic Legions uh, pre-order for the ogre for the ogres too. That was like friggin' two hundred bucks. So there you go with the. The officer helmet, or helmet, officer hat on. Looks a little funky on his head, but this is the new head. Let me try it on Checkmate. I know it's going to look a little weird on my character, but I'm just doing this for looks and see how it looks. So on the older heads, it fits a little bit better. Um, also on the Mythic Legions pre-order, that pre-order ended yesterday at 3. So if you missed it, um, I'm not sure if they're going to be doing another pre-order, but uh, just to point that out. So it did end the 27th at 3 o'clock. Sometimes they extend it. Um, uh, I, I'm not sure if they did, but uh, they might. So keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in those. But there you go. There's the, there's the hat. I'll put this other hat on him too. Actually, I'll put it on the other guy. I'll put it on a different guy so you can see all the hats and what, the way they fit. But there's the new leg harnesses and the elbow pads. And we'll put this little beanie on them. Oh, they fit quite well, I think. Looks a little bit big on his head, but that's okay. So now you have an option if you don't want to use that damn shipwreck head for a uh, Navy SEAL. You don't have to, so you don't look like you're, it's just shipwreck on a, <laughs> a different body, you know. This way they give you some options to work with. And then we got that machete, which I will try to attach to him as well, so you can see what that looks like as well with the sheath. I think it's really cool. I might actually have to give this to Bedwin. I might have to do that. I'm going to do that, actually. Yeah, that's perfect for Bedwin. Definitely going to have to give that to him. So there you go. He's got a little... Look at that. That looks so cool. 
Oh, come on. Oh, you just knocked everybody over. <laughs> you jerk. You jerk. What are you doing to me, you jerk? Uh, actually, I could probably put it on the back of the tack vest. That might look pretty cool going like that. You can't see it now, though, so. <laughs> that defeats that purpose. You can't see it. There you go. I'll just leave his arm up, whatever. All right. So that's pretty much... I showed everything else, though. I didn't show the hands. We'll get to the hands. I mean, I did show the hands, but I didn't show how, you know, how they look in. But I'm really pleased that we got saluting hands and we got the fist hands. That's really awesome. Can I show the tomahawk? Sure. I surely will show the tomahawk. Surely. And don't call me Shirley. You guys ever seen that movie? Airplane 2? It's hilarious. Love it. All right, so here's the sheath for the new tomahawk. It's got an M. You want to make sure that M is an M and not a W, <laughs> obviously. Um, <laughs> then here's the new tomahawk. Okay. And then if you want to have it in the sheath, you simply want to make sure the M is down. There's a little hole right in the center right there. You see it? Okay. And then you just want to take that and fish that through like so. And then you, sir, have a sheath. And you do have a peg on the back. So if you want to have this attached to his to his hip or on his back like so, let's go ahead and do that. You can do that. See? Pretty damn cool, huh? I'm going to be getting a whole lot of these contract ops. Oh, my God. It's going to be contract ops uh, party. And they come with handcuffs. Come with a new bandana. Let's get that bandana on. Oh, I already put this. And they come with a new helmet, too. Let me get... Oh, I'm running out of room here. All right. We'll get him in here, too. All right. So here's the other contract ops body. There we go. And I showed all the uh, the other dogs earlier, so. Um, but uh, yeah, I pretty much showed everything. Um, like I said, they have a new lifeline body. So if you want to do a male lifeline or a female lifeline, You've got the body, you've got the attachments for that. Uh, let me just bring in those two bodies. Um, you've got hard top body too. You've got shockwave slash shock blast body. I showed that earlier. Like, look at this. this is oh my God, this is so perfect for Lifeline. So save a lot of money. You'll save a ton of money not getting that 30th anniversary one. And just get this. Get this with um, his attachments. Let me show you. Get this with his attachments, and then you've got a lifeline. There you go. And then what else? You got hard top. Don't get the don't spend the money on the FSS one. Just get this. See? You got hard top, spotty. And then you've got even his color matching uh, accessories and stuff. You can just get that. Um, like I said, this stuff's not gonna be available until mid-January, so don't. I mean, right now, Marauder store is closed because of the holiday. Um, and here's, like, Female Shock Blast, if you wanted to go with that. Here's Female Hardtop. If you want to go with that. Female Lifeline. Okay. Or if you just want a Medic, whatever you want to do. And then here's all the accessories for Shock Blast. And then... Here's the male body for Shock Blast 2. I'm not sure if I just showed that, but I showed it earlier. I'm just showing it for people that are just popping in the stream. So there's all that stuff. And you also got some other bodies. Like I said, this wasn't even the all-in that I, I, I went in on this. This was the tier below the all-in. And this is a ton of stuff. This is overwhelming. So you also got uh, the white body with accessories stuff like that so if you wanted to mix and match and do, oh my god there's, 
The world is your oyster as far as Marauders goes. That's the, the best thing about Marauders, man. It's to do whatever you want. I mean, it really does. I mean, when you think about it logically, it makes G.I. Joe action figures. Like, as far as them even coming out with new action figures, it makes them kind of obsolete, in my, in my opinion. I don't know. Because Marauders just has better better bodies that they work with. You can make them <laughs> you can make them look better than the G.I. Joe action figures, I think, that Hasbro has released. I mean I, I still have my series that I do every now and then. I gotta I the only reason I haven't done one in a while is because I was waiting for these to come out. Uh, it was kind of bad timing too. And uh, on top of that, you know, I mean I gotta house i gotta pay for i got a dog i gotta pay for i got amenities and stuff like that and on top of that i have to go buy a new car because my car is totaled someone hit my car so that's you know always something but anyway i digress i don't mean to tell you all my personal bullshit but <laughs> i digress i won't talk about all that stuff um but I, I do plan on continuing that series. So it's not dead or anything like that. I'm going to continue it. It was just kind of a, a culmination of bad timing as far as you know, waiting for this stuff. This stuff was kind of priority for me. That and the Mythic Legion stuff was really the priority. And man, it took a lot of work to get that, that mythic, all those Mythic Legions done, you know? It was not easy to do, get all those. And then when I stopped uh, streaming, then I had to... Uh, Pretty much, I was uploading one a day and editing those. It's not it's not easy to bust out one a day. You know, I did that for, what, two years straight when I first started this channel. And it's not easy to do, you know. If I had all the time in the world, I, I would be able to bust out one a day easily. But I do have a career. It's not just uh, this. Yeah, you have Shockwave body guys. You have a whole... We have Lifeline. You have uh, Hardtop. Don't buy the FSS figures. I'm telling you. Just make your own Marauders. It's so much easier and cheaper. Instead of spending $70 on a underwhelming figure, you know. Do not waste the money. FSS figures are just not, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I own a couple, but... That was, I think that was a lot of the, a lot of those were actually before. Like that's the whole reason I started doing the series was, a lot of the figures that I did, like uh, Bullhorn and, who else? Um, uh, what you call it? I can't think. I did Bullhorn. I did a, I did a whole bunch. I did an upgraded Doc. You know. Marauders is where it's at. You'll save a lot of money too. And I know there's like the motto of like, uh, you know, only GI Joe is only G only GI Joe is GI Joe. But that I don't know. That's that's a personal preference thing. You know, some people think that way, and I tend not to. I think there's a lot of options out there, and why exclude those options? But if you think that way, oh, kudos to you. I know I know uh, HCC does, and that's fine. You know, if you grew up with something and that's your, your one and only, then that's your one and only. And I completely respect that. But it's, you know, for me, I like, I like, like mixing things. I think it's good to have that variety, you know. It's good to have that variety. You got to have variety in life, right? Man, forget buying Joe's just gonna I know, right? Just make your own. It's so much cheap. You'll save so much money. You really do. And you're getting better quality. I mean, look at this. I'll just I mean just look at look at this. Look at my character. You ready? Here's my character. Now I have him built. Ready? And then look at I'll just take a hold on. Let's let's take one of the best. Let's get a Pursuit of Cobra figure, all right? Hold on. We'll get one of my favorites over here. We'll get... Oh, God, I'm going to knock everybody over. All right. Now, this is a really... This is still a really good figure, but I still don't think it compares 
Well, I guess it does, maybe. <laughs> it doesn't compare in specific articulated points. All right. Here's General Hawk is seen as one of the, the, the best. But to me, the head's a little small. I'm nitpicking, I know. But to me, the quality is there more so with this and these than this. Now, I, don't get me wrong. I still love this. I love it. And Pursuit of Cobra is the, the pinnacle. The, I think the peak of G.I. Joe. It had it offered the most in with great detail, a good concept, and it was for a, a low price point of like what seven bucks, I think at the time. Like comparably, if you're gonna compare like back then to buying them, buying Marauders now, obviously Marauders are more expensive, but you get to build your character the way you want, and that is something you can't compare. You know what I mean? Uh, having that option is mind blowing as opposed to you're buying the figure and it's the one way and that's it. As opposed to having every option that you want to do. You know what I mean? There's, there's a huge trade off there. Huge trade off. Um, elbow articulation is better on Marauders. The wrist, uh, and hands are better on Marauders. Um, I would say maybe the knee joints are comparable. The ankle joints are comparable. Head articulation, range of motion is probably comparable. Um, you know, arms, waist, stuff like that. Actually, I think the waists are, are better on Marauders because they have a true waist and they use that diaphragm joint, which isn't the, isn't the worst thing in the world. The diaphragm joint still works, but I think when you have a tack vest on, being able to swivel at that waist, the the instead of the torso, the uh, the diaphragm, uh, I think it works better. That's just my opinion. But the Hawk is great. I mean, he's fantastic. He looks beautiful. I love him. But I still just, I think as far as plastic quality, as far as overall, um, if you're comparing them head to toe, I think a Marauder's figure just beats out G.I. Joe. It's just my opinion. Like I said, it's an opinion. People don't have to get angry. <laughs> no, uh, no, he cannot hold the rifle like Checkmate. No. He cannot. That's the other thing. The hands on a lot of G.I. Joes just kind of suck. They're old molds from a long time ago. I want to say from what? Most of them are from... I mean, you got a couple new molds here and there, but a lot of them are from 25th anniversary, and a lot of those hands were holy Toledo bad. Um, so, I mean, there's some that you got pretty good. Like, his hands aren't too bad on Hawk. Um... I want to say the Pursuit of Cobra Beachhead had some of the worst hands. That was the only drawback to that figure, really, was those damn hands. Um, yeah, low light. Well, you you can. The thing is, is he still looks at it a little like you can get him. Like I've, I I have got him to look down the sights. The Pursuit of Cobra Low Light. Um, you really just got to, like, work with it. You really have to work with it. Um, and actually, this rifle, just to point out, this is not actually Marauder's rifle. This rifle is actually the... the uh, it's, an, it's a Chinese... Uh, it was part of a Chinese line. I can't remember the name of it. It had, like, a bunch of skeletons and stuff that they came with. And they were super hard to find. They were super expensive for some stupid reason. I don't know why. But this is actually that rifle from that line. I can't remember the name of that damn line. Well, I think I have the packaging somewhere. But they came with these guys. I'll show you. They came with, like, these skeleton dudes. And I was actually wanting these guys because I was going to use them for a display with, like, a, the Toxo Vipers. So I was thinking about going that route with like zombies and stuff, using those for that. But yeah, that's actually, uh, this is kind of the loadout I, I go with. I don't, obviously I'm not using the <laughs> a 1667, uh, uh, 
or eight was it 1887 shoddy i just threw that in there to be stupid i don't know <laughs> but that's pretty much my that's checkmates my loadout for when i airsoft pretty much i usually just run a sniper rifle which actually i was going to show you guys that but i don't have enough time today i've been on here for holy shit 165 minutes uh, my sniper rifle is put away right now, but uh, for one day I'll, sh I'll sh have to show you guys that and show you my ghillie suit, my full loadout and all that. That would be kind of fun to do. Yes, exactly. Let the let the customs begin, man, you know? Jaden, what's up, man? What am I doing? I'm doing uh, the... These are all the new Marauders Task Force... Um, Contract Ops, which are these guys right here, okay? These are the new figures from the Marauders Task Force Contract Ops. And then we've got the mech suits back here, okay? And then we've got the new dogs. And this is just, obviously, there are four different types. I showed them earlier. You can go back and watch it, watch the video if you want to. Oh, Oreo, see, he's still excited about the dogs. He's like, I hear dogs and... <laughs> But uh, here, I'll give you a, I'll give you a quick little look because I, I went through this earlier with the dog. Oh, he's knocking everybody, and everybody's falling over. Mm -hmm. But these are fully articulated dogs. You can get them to obviously sit. They are not molded like this stuff right here. These are fully articulated dogs. They are not just stuck in one pose like this. You can swap heads. You can put goggles on them, ballistic goggles like I have. You can take them off if you want to. I know, I know, or I know he, he Oreo is excited too. You hear him, and they do have full articulation in the legs. Come on, if I can get that hinge joint to work. There we go. I was kind of having him sit. He was being a good doggy. He was sitting. I know, bud. I know. I I know. I'm. A, I, I I I know. You want ballistic goggles too? Huh? Is that what you want? You want ballistic goggles? Do you? <laughs> it's looking at me funny. It's like, what? What are you, what are you trying to say? But uh, he also comes with like attachments, like a little handle on his thing. He does come with two leashes. Oh, that's where the leash goes. I'm so stupid. All right, I got to show you that really quick. I am so dumb. I'm dumb, dumb. I'm a dumb, 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 dumb. He's a dum 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 dum. I showed everything, and I was like, "Where the hell is this plug in? I can't see it." That's because you're blind, dummy. <laughs> That's because I'm blind. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> what is the? Oh wait, hold on, I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. What helmet is that on the left? Uh, of the of which one? Him? Or her. Oh, he's falling over. Uh, with him, he's got this, he's got the, um, well, actually, I'll show that in a second. Hold on. Let me do one thing at a time before I go off on it. Let me get this leash situation situated. Because I don't want to not show something. I'm trying to show everything because I always have a tendency in a video to not show something, and then someone gets mad mad at me for not showing said thing. Or they're like, just put it in there! Why didn't you do that? You know, they get angry. They People get angry, you know? They get angry at me. I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, so this, this one that attaches to the leash, there's a little slot in the neck, which I couldn't see. Now, granted, I couldn't see it because his neck is painted black. And I should have paid attention better, but so I apologize. But there's a little... You just want to pop that right in there. That's all you got to do for the leash. Obviously, you've got to work it in a little bit better than what I'm doing here. Or maybe I'm doing it backwards here. I might be doing it backwards, so shh. Shh. No, I think that goes like this. Eh, come on. All right, I might have to do this off camera really quick. Eh. <laughs> this is a, a toy little hole. I might have to use some heat with this. It is I'm using a rubbery plastic. 
and it's going into a hard piece of plastic. So it's like fitting a marshmallow in a keyhole. Any guess on prices? Uh, for like what? I mean, this was a Kickstarter, so it's different. Okay, guys, see you. See you later, buddy. Um, hit me up if you want to play some Wildlands. All right, buddy. The Max and the Pups. Uh, it's gonna depend. I I don't know because I paid one lump sum. Uh, I'm not really sure. It also is gonna go piece by piece. I'm assuming. So I'm assuming like the mech suit, like uh, everything that came in the kit. For the mech suit, like the 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 leg attack, everything that was attached as far as the mech suit, the plain one goes, that's probably going to be one price is my assumption. And then the next thing is going to be probably the attachments, which they might sell separately. Um, I'm assuming they'll probably go for like, I don't know, maybe 20 cents. Depending, I, don't, I really don't know the price. I don't want to give someone a price and they're like, oh, you said 20 cents and it's 50 I'm, I don't know. I don't work for them. I'm just giving you a guess. But um, I can't get this damn leash in. All right. But anyway, there is a, there is a, if this will focus. I have so much stuff in the background right now. It's now, you can see that little slot right there. I would suggest using a little bit of heat on the neck joint and then popping that in there. It's just tough because this is a, a rubbery type plastic and then, but it is supposed to just fit right in that hole. It's a little bit difficult right now. I don't know why, but it won't go in. But just to point that out, so you, you do know where the leash, that leash goes. But uh, there you go. Oh, he's staring at his bone. And this guy keeps falling over. <laughs> All right, so this helmet, someone asked, uh, I believe it was Woodman about this helmet. Um, this helmet is uh, just new attachments with uh, an older style helmet, right? I know it's a little bit hard to see, but there is a mouth guard that actually attaches to two, the two peg holes on the side, and it goes over the mouth, mouth uh, piece. See that? that? Looks pretty cool. And then I just kind of gave them these peripheral uh, goggles. Pretty cool. I think it looks pretty good. You don't have to have it set up like this. I was just kind of showing how it looks on each body, something a little bit different on each body. <laughs> yeah, man. They're, yeah, like I said, uh, the, the prices are going to be, I, I, they haven't released how much the prices are going to be yet. So, you know, I would say just just bear with them. Uh, they'll, they'll have the prices up sooner rather than later, as soon as these go up in January. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is, as far as the Kickstarter goes, this is what I got. Um, like I said, I, I picked up the tier below the all-in, so, you know, obviously there's going to be more offered for the people that got the all-in, but this is what I got. Um, I still have a, oh my God, I have two bags filled with, with this much stuff. Like, I have a whole, <laughs> I have a whole, like, uh. Two, two bags of that. Like there's a whole nother one that's full, like right here. There's all the mech stuff. So I still have all that stuff. I could make a whole bunch of these these guys and gals. So you got your female mech, your male mech, and your contract ops, and your dogs. And I showed the other four dogs earlier. You've got a, a wolf, which kind of looks like timber wolf right here, that color. You've got, obviously, your German shepherd, your typical German shepherd. He comes with alternate heads. You've got your Husky, and you've got an all-black dog as well. So there's your four that I got. Um, so there's more. And like I said, I showed all this stuff in the video. So if you guys want to go back and watch the playback, you can. Um, but I think that's it. I mean, if you guys have any more questions, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer any. Or if you guys have any questions about anything else. But... You guys ponder on those questions. I'm going to grab a bottle of water because I am dry mouth right now. I've been talking for 174 minutes straight. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to grab water. You guys have any questions? Think of them. I'll be right back and answer them.
I'm back. I'm back again. Had to feed the had to feed the doggy. Okay, no questions. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, I think I'll end it here then. I think I've gone on long enough. Um, like I said, obviously I'm gonna work creatively and think of some stuff to do here. Um, I might do a Nomad build. I might do that. So, I'll attempt to do that. I don't have a red t-shirt, though, for him, so. But I think I'll end the stream here. I pretty much showed everything. Like I said, uh, you can go back and watch the, the, the playback if you want to. And uh, I pretty much showed everything on here, how to attach everything. Uh, I swapped heads on the dogs, necks. I showed uh, both tack vests. Actually, you know what? I didn't show the other one how to put it on. I mean, it's self-explanatory. You just put it on the dog. So I guess I'll put that on another dog really quick. I'll right, we'll put on the put on the, uh, the wolf style dog, okay? I'll do that really quick and then I'll let you guys go. I know it's been a long, it's a long video. All right, so here's the... Uh, wolf woofer i think it's so cool that they even painted the bottom of their paws for their little pads isn't that cool how cool that is And we'll just take the uh, the green one that I was using earlier, and we'll pop that on him. Actually, you know what? We'll switch it up. We'll go with the, the uh, tan one. How's that? That sound okay to you, you guys? All right. So this is the other tack vest that they come with that they offer. There's two. There's the armored one, which I just showed on that that uh, German Shepherd right there. I know you ate your food, bud. Good job. Well, that's a good boy. He always likes to let me know that he ate his food. He's like, oh, well, thank you for feeding me, Dad. Anytime, bud. Anytime. Now, if you want to make me dinner, that would be great. All right? Go make me dinner. And I don't need dog food, so no. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not making food. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you food. Give you, give you. Bunch of biscuits, Dad. Yeah, trying to get this pegged in here. It's being a little stubborn, but uh, we'll get it. We will get it. All right, there we go. There's the other tack vest. I didn't put any attachments on it. But uh, just so you can compare that, let me get this stuff out of my way first. I got all this stuff on the table. Let me get it all out of the way so I can show you guys properly how it looks. Okay, hold on one second. Is he all black? Uh, actually, he comes with a, a different torso, too. Um, I'll, hold on one second. I'm just going to show this dog really quick, and then I'll show you what I was talking about with the uh, suited body, okay? Let me get that body out. But yes, he does come with a tie. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. <laughs> Where did it go? Did I leave it out? No, it's got to be in this bag. Sorry, I'm going through like a whole bag of stuff here. It's hard to see everything. 
Oh god. Oh, there goes more stuff. And more. And more stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna dump everything out and then find it. Where'd you go? Torso, piece. G. The D O double G and the A to the W crooked letter. No, I think I might have put it in with the max. That's probably what I did. Uno momento, por favor, senor. Oh, okay. What in the heck did I do with it? Oh, that's not it. Is that it? No, that's a Mac. Uh oh. Uh, there's no way I lost it. <laughs> it was just sitting here. Oh. I must have put it in a different. Uh, uh, you know what? I probably glossed over it in the other bag. <sighs> See, I bag everything and I put it put it back. Yeah, this is just all the mech stuff. I don't know why I'm even looking in that bag. Right, so we got our two dogs here. Let me go through the dogs first, then I'll look for that. Give me a give me a sec here. All right, so we got our two different tack vests here. We got our heavily armored one, and we've got our I guess you want to say just your regular tack vest for them. Now you don't have to run these vests; they're just a nice little option to have. Uh, but pretty cool. You got your like wolf right here, and you got your uh, obviously these are the the, the different heads. And I showed full articulation with the dogs. These have the best articulation I've ever seen in a dog. They even have mouth articulation. Oh, Marauders. Uh, this is just my, I think, between this and Mythic Legion is my two, fa and NECA. My, they, those are my three favorite toy companies right now. They're just, tch, shit. Just look at this stuff. It's just such good quality. Um... The amount of articulation that you get in this dog rivals the the, the the humans, I would say. It really does. Range of motion, articulation, holy Toledo, it's it is it is something else. So I, you definitely gotta applaud Marauders for doing the, the quality that they've done with this wave in the Kickstarter. Alright, let me find this torso piece for you now. So there's both the vests, how they look. Let me, I, I, you know what, I probably glossed right over it. That's probably what happened. I tend to do that a lot. Maybe I put it in with a different thing. That's probably what I did. I could always just go back and watch what I did with it in the video. I put it in, no, that's just, the, I didn't even open that one. What the heck did I do with that? Oreo, did you steal my torso? Oreo must have stole my torso. What did I do with it? I'm baffled. Oh, it's over there. What the heck? I probably put it in a bag and I'm just not paying attention. No, it's not in that. Does anybody know what I do with it? <laughs> Does anybody know? Could you, you could just use the black dog for junkyard? Sure. It's got to be on the max. Oh, here it is. I'm so... There it is. I found it. Uh, all right, so here's what the uh, regular suit is. Now, it came with, uh, this body came with, sorry, I'm not pointing at the right thing. This body right here, the suited body, came with a whole bunch of different stuff. It came with rolled up sleeves, okay, for this body right here. Um, it also comes with a suit. So if you want to do FBI, you want to do Tomat and Zaymot, Tomax and Zaymot, excuse me, I'm not saying things properly. 
uh, Tomax and Zaymont, if you want to do an FBI, if you want to do Men in Black, if you want to do whatever you want to do, you know, you've got this body. Now you just have to, you know, take the legs off pretty much. You don't have to take the torso off because they come with uh, a torso piece attached to the body torso. But um, you have this option. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be a really good seller. I'm assuming all of this is pretty much going to be a really good seller um, as far as, you know, Especially the dogs. I mean, if you if you pass on the dog, please don't pass on these dogs. They're really good action figures. Um, I I know a lot of people do uh, top ten action figures, and they're all from the major companies. But I feel like to not add this to your top ten, if you own it, or if you've seen someone own it, um, I would say give Marauders a try. Marauders, I to me. Marauders and I want to say Mythic Legions are the two best newest companies as far as putting out, you know, good quality upgraded action figures at, um, you know, at a little bit of a, I guess you could say a little bit more of a premium price. Um, you know, on the secondary markets, don't even look at these on the secondary markets. You just can't um, as far as Marauders. Marauders has its own website where you can buy it from them. Don't don't buy these on eBay. It's, it's irrelevant. Just don't. Go to Marauders Gun Runners or MarauderInc.com and you can purchase them. Right now the website's down. So if you go there, there it's down just for the holiday. They'll be back after the I think the first week of January they'll be back. So um they do that every year. Every year they they shut down just for the holiday so they can spend time with their family and stuff like that which I, I can't, like I said earlier, I'm going to reiterate it. You can't really blame them for wanting to spend time with their families. Um, and this is a smaller company that you're dealing with. You're not dealing with Hasbro. You're not dealing with Mattel. Um, this is a, a smaller, much smaller company. Well, they're doing such good work. And uh, if I were to have a top 10, these would probably be in my high in my top five for the year but I'm, I'm, i don't think i'm going to do a top 10 action figures for the year because a i don't remember all the figures i got from the whole year um uh, call me a bad memory i'm probably going to have early alzheimer's who knows uh oh yeah absolutely you could use them for secret service um you know whatever you want to do fbi cia Anything you want to do. But they also come with this um, regular... Um, this regular uh, shirted... He's got kind of like a collared shirt underneath that. So you can fit a tack vest over it. If my camera will focus and not try to focus on everything else. There we go. Um, so you can fit a tack vest over it. So it looks really good. I received a do rag a month ago, from a, as a bonus. Yeah, sometimes they'll do that um, if you put it in an order and they have a Kickstarter coming out. Um, they'll throw in uh, if they get it if you know if they get some stuff early, they'll throw in something for free. Like I got one of the new tack vests about I want to say about a month ago, and I was surprised. I was like, wait, this is a male tack vest because it looked like a female one. And I was like, no, this fits the males. It's the new one. It's the new plate carrier vest like this. Like these guys have so it's pretty awesome man I, i'm really very pleased i mean I don't, I don't even know where to start with these to be honest with you but stay tuned i'm gonna have a whole series of these just like i i showed uh, mythic legions uh their love i'm gonna show these their love as well um some love excuse me um but yeah i've gone on long enough i'm going on for 190 minutes oh my god doing this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I guess it's kind of like a video showcase kind of review, you know? I mean, with the, the male bodies, you know what you're getting as far as articulation goes. Um, I pretty much showed how to attach everything. Um, like I said, I asked you guys if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you're watching this on playback and you're not watching it live, then um, just ask me. If you have a question, just answer, uh, ask it in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it as quickly as I possibly can. Um, yeah, I know, Woodman. I could definitely do my characters from the game. I, exactly. 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I've gone on long enough. I, I got to get some dinner in me, some food in me. I haven't eaten yet today, so um, it's food time. It's time to get some food. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I'll just leave it at that. I won't really call it a review. Um, I think I called it a showcase, whatever. Uh, but uh, thanks, everybody. Hit the, hit the like button if you want to. If not, that's cool, too. Uh, if you're new uh, to the channel and you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button if you want to. Hit the bell for notifications until you see two little parentheses hanging over the bell. This way you know you get all notifications instead of occasional notifications. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at this. You guys have a great night. Uh, stay tuned for more Marauder stuff. Obviously, I'm going to be mixing and matching and thinking of different uh, uh, things I can, I can do with these. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for hanging out. You guys are all awesome, and I'll see you on the flip side.